There's no going back. Oh no! <laughs> I can't take it back. Look. No take backsies. Look, listen. Cranberry juice is not only a really good tart drink, but it also helps you pee straight. This is scientific fact. Thank cranberry God. Juice. I've been peeing crooked for years. <laughs> cranberry juice. He's actually right, because it's got a lot of, like, acids in it. And, like, antioxidants, which are really good for Me, me the fool, crack. sitting here just like, that's just something, like, my, my, my grandparents used to tell me just to make me laugh. No, it's a real thing. Like that's why if you get <laughs> if you have a cat that has like your you, you're worried about their urinary tract, you want to get them food that has cranberries in them because they actually like have that acid to them. It Welcome to the all cranberry well. stream chat. <laughs> cranberries <laughs> fucking rule. You know what else rules? Little... Dungeons and Dragons, which Hell is what yeah. we're here to play. <laughs> oh boy. Hello, everyone. Welcome to The Unexpectables 2, Alton Frontiers, Episode 3. I was waiting for you to say, welcome to Episode 2, Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> <laughs> We're past that Boogaloo. last time. I love our zero viewers we have currently as I bring up the stream. Really? I got 162. Yeah, yeah I, got, I, got, I, got a, I got a nice flat zero. <laughs> I got 162, yeah. That's super weird. Wait, oh, nope, sorry. Oh. 207, oh, 208, 209, oh, and rapidly, rapidly improving. We may not have a lot of people here tonight watching because I know right now for a lot of people it is exam time. Uh, oh. So if you are currently listening to the show and you should be studying, I'm going to find where you live and I'm going to slap you. She'll do it too. Please, please study. She'll extend her arms like Diaboromon and 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 smash your Tumpus. You've been playing too much Digimon. <laughs> the Tumpus. The Tumpus is the uh, is the snout of a tapir. Yeah. Oh. Quit smashing the Tumpus. Yeah. I didn't. Yeah, I, a, I, a Tumpus is the is the snout of a tapir. I didn't I, realize I, I, mine would be going around slapping tapirs, but you know. Uh, I don't do any. I've never seen a tapir in real life. <laughs> I, you almost sounded like you said I do what well, I that, want. That's because we gotta find one in game so she can have it set up that we do this. Gerald, how many times I am told did you to not smash my tumpus? <laughs> I just have a village. It's just, just, it's just they can't get rid of all the tapirs, and it's just that's a village full of tapirs. They just live with it. Ah, uh, you oh, know, animal. Anyway, welcome to the Unexpectables, everybody. Hello. Oh boy. Hope you're having a fantastic evening, ladies and gentlemen. Seen a few first-time chatters in here. Nice, nice. Thank you all so much for stopping by. Watching our funny little D&D stream. Tell your uh, friends they don't need to watch the first one to watch this one. Yes! I've had, to, yes. I've, had to, I've had to tell that to so many people. <laughs> don't make money point at the sign. People be like, I'm, I'm on episode 10 of the first campaign. I have so much to get through before the second campaign. And I grab them and I'm like, I have a great news. I have great news for you. <laughs> no. No. Oh, oh Jesus. All right. Can you all calm down in the chat a little bit? <laughs> we'll get God to damn. this in a second. <laughs> Probate I'll get to it, I swear. Cheap. Don't forget, if you want that added fourth level unexpectable fun, grab a loaf of bread and eat along with us. <laughs> but I don't have any bread. Oh no. Now you too can enjoy your sky toast. It's not sky, it's sun! Get, get your the unexpected. Sky. Quick, quick question. Where is the sun? The sky doesn't cook Surprise. it. The sun cooks it. Chat, ah, spam it. Sun, spam the emote. The spam sun the is emote. in the sky, so it must then be sky toast. Throw all your sun toast at Mark, chat. I know you have some. Sorry, Sky I'll get to that me. later. Oh, look at the sick art, dude. Oh. Indeed, all this sick art. Which, by the way, thank you all so much for uh, contributing to the, the <sighs> fan art here. We love it all. Be sure to use at unexpectables or the hashtag as well so we can see it all. Yeah. If you don't use those, we won't see it. We won't uh, add it to the slideshow. That is true. Uh, we should probably go ahead and go around the horn and introduce ourselves real quick. Uh, Gaijin Gooba, where can they find Yumba? 
Not here calling it Sky Toast like a pleb. Okay, anyway. Uh, hey everyone, Gaijin Gooba here. You can find me at twitch.tv slash Gaijin Gooba every Tuesday, Saturday, Sunday, 7 p.m. Yo Central Time. I have a Taiko performance on Saturday. I might be kind of tired. Stream might or might not happen. I will do my very best. It will be very exhausting. I have too many hard parts to play. Uh, I got a new video that I'm working on. Freaking... Oh, Rabbit Samurai Usagi Jimbo Chronicles. It's gonna be a time. For any of you who've seen it, you already know what I'm talking about. Woo. Um, aside from that, I'm I'm looking for new games to play, honestly, that are that are within my theme. Um, streams with Bosco and myself will at some point return with Samurai Warriors 5, because that's always a blast. Um I have Sun Toast emotes. For those of you uh, who are subs to me, you have access to that right now. I'm getting other little Milo funsies put together. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of in between stuff. Like, I just got a lot of other things accomplished, like that Pocky and Rocky video. And I've got a lot of other things on the horizon. So, um, yeah, come hang out. Uh, thank you, everyone, who's been extremely generous over the last couple of streams. I very much appreciate that. Yeah. Wahoo! Chris Pratt. I'm leaving. Uh, Goodbye. <laughs> it's <laughs> me. <laughs> Wait, come back. You have to tell us where they can find you and what you're up to. Uh, hello, you can find me on Twitter.com at Mark Allen Jr. Here on Twitch at Aeon Pro Tech Gaming. And you can follow the adventures of my fat sleepy cat bunny on Instagram at Chonk for Life. Couple things. Um, I literally just released new music. I posted it on Twitch. I mean Twitter, not Twitch. That's weird. Posted it on Twitter. It's a hardcore remix mashup thing. I've never done that kind of thing before. I'm really happy with it. Check it out if you like electronic music. Also, uh, tomorrow and every Thursday after that for a couple weeks, check out the English dub of Fruit of Evolution. I play the lead in that. It's a lot of fun. I'm having a blast and also, like, just doing good work, which is, I don't say that about my own work that often, so I hope you'll check it out. Uh, last thing, uh, there's a little project uh, that I'm a part of called Big Cat Bandits. It's currently trying to raise money on Kickstarter so we can produce an episode. Um, I did post about it uh, a couple days ago. I will be posting about it again tomorrow. However, if you go on Twitter, look for Big Cat Bandits. Please check it out. Uh, would really appreciate even just a retweet to spread the word if you can't give anything to help fund it. Uh, we're about... 15 days away from the deadline and really under the target. So uh, I'm trying to spread the word around a little bit. Hopefully uh, you guys might see something you like or you know someone who will. Uh, streams are irregular right now. We just beat <laughs> Pokemon on Saturday. Me and Thero accidentally the whole Elite Four. Um, so that was fun. Um, I may be doing something again this upcoming Saturday. Might be finishing uh, Spyro with a friend of mine. And then after that, uh, I may be playing Sonic 06 on stream. Oh, why? No. You st why? Just because, you know, I think there needs to be more that, of it. That's a world. terrible why? That's a terrible answer. First of all, Mark, that is incorrect. Second of all, you're insane. <laughs> third of all, <laughs> third, third of all, third of all, you should instead get the mod that actually takes away all the fucking terrible minutia. No, no, I, I, I'm playing it with a friend <laughs> who needs to experience the whole game that's because they've experience. never played it. I mean, that uh, is an experience, but it's you're like torturing someone else. Look, they're not playing it; they're just watching me play it. It's a it's a collective torture. So someone's watching you be tortured. I don't get yes. it, Mark. Look, no I mean, the human mind knows what it wants. That's all I know. All I think about whenever I think about Sonic 06 now is is Alfred, uh, paper box now. So <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. as Eggman <laughs> going, give me back my gamer girl Sonic. <laughs> I miss the only thing I ever think of is it's no use. Yeah, that's, uh, like, uh, that's all I know. That's it for me. Indeed. And then they kiss. Look, <laughs> <laughs> we're moving on. <laughs> Zito, where can they find you? What are you up to? Yeah, twitch.tv <laughs> Twitch TV slash Zito. I play indie games on the reg. Uh, Friday, I don't know what the fuck is going on. However, because of Connor, I now picked up V Rising and I played it for like two hours before we started and I'm now addicted to it. So that might be a Friday stream. 
Did I? Uh, that? uh, beyond that, so, uh, Patreon homebrew nonsense news. Uh, I'm still waiting on artwork. Sword of the Sea is hell. I, I am so sorry. It's kind of a tiny bit held back by the fact that, like, the artist that I'm working with is the one who's doing the cover. So I kind of can't move forward until I get it. However, uh, I did put out something for absolutely free to entice people to maybe spend some money on the Patreon. You listen, you like frogs? You like goblins? What if we put those two together because of a witch's curse? And now you have playable froblins. You're welcome. It's in the, I just posted the link in chat. Let's go, froblins! Uh, and if you like the, if you like the froblins, then I don't know, maybe I could convince you to probably spend $5 on my Patreon to get more other weird and wacky things. Uh, I could give you an idea of what's going to be happening uh, next update after Sword of the Sea. Uh, I don't have a name for it, but I am going to be working on stuff that's true elementals. A couple of player races, but mostly monsters. Right on. Uh, Ever Bosco, where can they find you and what are you up to? You can find me at Ed Bosco VA on both Instagram and Twitter and right here on twitch.tv slash Edward Bosco. Balanced you perfectly. Fuck yeah. Sorry. I'm... <laughs> Excellent. Uh, Monty Glue, where can they find you? And what are you up to? Uh, you can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter. And you can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. Um, we still have to meet all Pokemon. Uh, we played Legends Arceus this past Sunday. And I am literally missing Spirit Tomb. That is the only Pokemon and the legendaries oh. that I am missing. So I'm and currently you got a on... shiny that made makes me both happy and angry. Simultaneously. Oh, the Zorua, the shiny Zorua that I yes. got Ooh, with, nice. with basically Shit. almost max odds. What game genie the... did you use? I my birth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't want to touch that. Nope, awesome. not touching that. <laughs> let me uh, let me I let me know. I was born with cheat codes in my DNA. <laughs> <laughs> let me know how the. Uh... Little spirit fire hunt goes, Monty. That's gonna be a fun time. I I literally am on the last area. I'm trying Ooh. to find the last one on the last area. Uh, and then after that, we gotta catch all the legendaries and then uh, hopefully fight God. I don't know what happens. I have avoided uh, spoilers like like crazy. Uh, and uh, if you haven't caught uh, Dungeon of the Mad Mage, uh, last session was amazing. Uh, it was very funny <laughs> there. Teleporters are great. Let's just put it that way. Um, oh. Instantly teleporting to a situation and then immediately failing in a bunch of... It, it's great. You should watch it. It's on my YouTube. Anyway, that's it for me. I, I have one jab that I would like to make at uh, our good friend Gaijin Goomba here. Uh-huh. I'd like mine air fried, please. I mean, that's what it is. Sky, sky so toast it's sky toast, toast because so it's, it's not sky fried toast. by the sun. It's fried it's by air fried. Yeah. Connor, so Connor, get us going, please. I'm going to fill up on tea. <laughs> they can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube.com slash Distortion Devil. I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Uh, tune into my Sunday streams because I'm playing through the Legacy of Cain series, which is my absolute favorite video game series of all time. People think it's Devil May Cry. It's not. It's this. Um... Uh, er, and speaking of, uh, speaking of, uh, Legacy of Kane, the, the man behind the, uh, the series is also making another game called Dead House Sonata. It's an action RPG where you play as the dead to fight the living. It's a spiritual successor to the first game. And I, for one, am very excited for it. There's a tech demo out now to head on over to their Discord to see what that also is all about. They had their monthly stream today, I believe. Uh... Be sure to catch up on all the latest news there. Also, check out my DMs Guild, where I just released the College of Distortion Bard last week. Uh, a power metal-themed Bard subclass. If that's up your alley at all, then go ahead and click that link. Leave a uh, uh, rating and a review. Because uh, it really helps with the algorithm and stuff. Uh, and that's about it for me. Uh, other than that, like to thank our wonderful sponsor for this evening's escapades, Die Hard Dice. Die Hard Dice! Can I, can I say something before we pitch them? I was at a, a convention this past weekend and there was a stall that had Die Hard Dice. And let me just say, seeing Die Hard Dice displayed in all its glory, molto bene. 
Let's Dang. go. Chef's kiss and speaking in Italian. Wow. Uh, and if you want to pick up some uh, diehard dice, but uh, don't want to leave the comfort of your home, not to worry. If you head on over to dieharddice.com uh, and use the code unexpectables exclamation point, you can save 10% on your order uh, when you order from Die Hard Dice. Some of that money gets thrown back to us so we can keep making shows like this. Also, big announcement for them. I retweeted it, but uh, Dots RPG Project has just teamed up with Die Hard Dice to create a series of Braille dice, it sounds like. Yo! Oh, yeah, yeah, I did mm -hmm. see that. That's yes. awesome. So if you or anyone you know is sight impaired, um, you can get dice that have Braille on them to play Dungeons & Dragons. So super, so super cool. cool. I'm really glad to see these two corroborating. That's really great. So, uh, huge shout out to Dots RPG Project and Die Hard Dice for that, because that's going to be, I think, fantastic for a lot of people. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, indeed. Uh, and uh, another another source that keeps our shows rolling is viewers like you. We've got uh, plenty of you to thank here, starting with Antillaris. Thank you for rating with a party of one. The Spoonman, thank you for the 18 months. That one nerdy dad. Thank you for the 19 months. Defective Sheep, thank you for gifting... What is this? What is this? 20, 25 subs to the community? Oh, my Thanks wow. Thank you so much. Uh, X Wiley Willy, thank you for the 26 what? months. The PK Awesome, thank you for the 23 <sighs> months. Shmugio, thank you for the 15 months of Prime. <laughs> uh, Stretchy for 12, thank you for the 22 months of Prime subage. Miller Knight 007, thank you for the... Uh, two months of prime subage. Mild Seder, thank you for the, I think that's 15 subs. Wow. I can't count. Thank you so much. Uh, mm -hmm. Cosmosis45, thank you for the 21 months of prime. Uh, Iggy Hitokage, thank you for the 26 months. Our Foxblood, thank you for the 26 months. General Scott, thank you for the 92, or the, no, thank you for the 19 months. There's a 92 at the end of the name. Uh, the Talbs, thank you for the 26 months. Martamus, thank you for the 10 months. Small Bun, thank you for the 21 bits. Just Kneeling, thank you for the 26 months. Level 1 Eevee, thank you for the 31 bits. I Am Spite, thank you for the 5 bits. Crabius the Great Crab Purr, thank you for the 26 <laughs> months. It's fun. Uh, Mikan Pachi, thank you for the 95 bits. Snapshots, thank you for the bit. Dippin' Bipples, thank you for the 100 bits. God damn it, Connor. <laughs> thank oh. you again. When it comes out of nowhere, it's it's it, and it's just said so normally. It really, it just uh, compounds. <laughs> anyway, please continue. Sorry. 20 BMG, thank you for the 500 bits. Mild Sater, thank you for the additional 500 bits. Snapper Jack, thank you for the 500 bits. King Night Owl, thank you for getting a tier one sub. Zen Lita, thank you for the 25 months. Monkey Feet, thank you for the 22 months. Vonavon89, thank you for the 24 months. Protoss103, thank you for the 5 bits. Warfree, thank you for the 26 months. Uh, Weewoo2017, thank you for the 7 months. Moon Moon Alpha, thank you for the 5 months. Robic Hugh, thank you for the 200 bits. Kitty Cat Gundam, thank you for the bit. Bull Honkinator, thank you for the 10,000 bits. Yeah. Goodness gracious sakes, alive. <clears throat> Fantastic Callum, thank you for the 100 bits. Crappy is the Great Crab Bird, thank you for the additional 100 bits. Disco Tech Priest, thank you for the 22 bits. Or thank you for the 22 months, rather. Uh, Menacing Bird by My Window, thank you for the 300 bits. Crit Scratch, thank you for the 23 months. Uh, Menacing Bird by My Window, thank you for getting, or thank you for, uh, Re-upping a prime sub. Uh, Krusty Stars, thank you for the seven months. Arc, 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 Archangel Azriel, thank you for the thirteen months. Uh, Lisella Nux, thank you for the two months of prime subage. Mister Insecure, thank you for the twenty-six months. Lord Commissar Manslaughter, thank you for the twenty-two months. Faye Raven, thank you for the 26 months. ATLA Gamer, thank you for the 26 months. Daniel Mack, thank you for the sub. Thornton6000, thank you for gifting five subs to the community. 
Storm Fox 116, thank you for the two years of seven. ATLA Gamer, thank you for the 50 bits. Muscle Wizard, thank you for the 26 months. Like to Booya 123, thank you for the 21 months. Uh, Alt Beast Tamer, thank you for the seven months. Uh, Grove and Warden, thank you for the 2,000 bits. And I, 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 I think it got eaten here by by uh, good old Streamlabs. Uh, Woo! But uh, there, I, I saw in chat that someone, I think it was it was 50,000 bits, I think. Wow. wow. Yeah. I forget who it was, so I'm very sorry for that. Uh, I think your, your, your bit got eaten here, but thank you so, so much. Uh, and that is it. Monty? You're muted. She might have gone. Sorry, I had, I had to deal with Cat. I apologize. Ah, I knew it. <laughs> Alrighty. You guys ready to get back into Eason Vale and oh, back into the unexpected? I don't know. I guess so. No. Yes, there's this undead, I suppose. <laughs> Whatever. Can we stay out here where there are no Zambos? Ha! <laughs> You're funny. Oh. All right. Let me grab my notes. Bye, Chad. Um, Love you guys. When last we left our adventurers, Otho, Kai, East Can Seat Lolly, Milo Brightbeam, and Gaius Agni, the party had survived the flight path of Blightwing, the Draco Lich, being revived with a strange and rather unperturbed individual of Lynn, a cleric of Hoketh who had brought them back from the brink of death and back into the land of the living. The adventurers awoke to find themselves in Eason Vale, not how they left it, currently enraptured in a curse that not only affects the people within, but the very land itself. Beseeching the party, Lynn has instructed the adventurers to head to Hearthland, to the nearby village of Acorn, to gather a bead of Hokef to disenchant to lift the curse on Eason Vale. But the pathway there has led dangers and frights of their own. The party ran into some smugglers who were amicable and willing to exchange information, but whispering in the shadows and the fog that meets and almost slows their pace is at their heels. After finding an abandoned wagon and finding a building with something inside, the party has made their way to the village of Arain. And as they had stealthed by, managed to miss the seeing eyes of a group of zombies. But not just any zombies. Zombies where holes in their skin now drip with ash. And now we return to the Unexpectables. And I'll take you to our map. Oh, boy. Hoorah. Hey. This 
is the remainder of the town of Arrain. You know what? On second thought, let's not go to Arrain. It's a silly place. <laughs> <laughs> some, <laughs> some of the buildings still maintain some structures, but others are simply remain nothing but husk of what they once were. This appears to have been a logging town based off of the cut wood nearby. Would and I'm just I'm just gonna say it's just we have the options. Uh would there be any way to sneak around the outskirts of town and continue on our way? You can attempt to sneak around, but as we're on a combat map, it means you're going to roll initiative and everyone's going to have to make checks. Oh, to boy. By. Oh, that thing I'm so good at. <laughs> can we be, can, can we fun, guys. Can we have some conversation before we decide on what Abs we're doing? Absolutely, yes. Excellent. All right, so what are we going to try to do? Uh, we could sneak around or go in headstrong. Well, I, for one, would be really happy if we just avoided them. I'm not sure how many more of them are in these houses. What say you guys? Put me on guys the spot. Are dead. <laughs> <laughs> <Yep. laughs> Turn over and he's just like <laughs> no, no. Ga Gaius is like just like looking out towards the battlefield with like his hand ready for his axe but then looks to everyone else why would you put me on the spot like this Ooh, actually no. um hang on I like to imagine Gaius what do you think and they just all turn you're currently up, like just speed like speed lines yeah. like running to a zombie just like yeah, a blinking oh, outline oh, of where he used to be Gaius is an outline <laughs> yeah so yeah. No. <laughs> if so so really quick um if you all want to cast your votes I wanted to start ritual casting something if that would be okay mm, we'd be here for 10 minutes while you do that that's why I'm asking now yeah. Also, here's the other question. Uh, actually, no, never mind. It doesn't matter. Disregard. I apologize. Okay. I'm not going to make a move. I'll just say it above game because trying to say it in game wasn't working. I'm not making a move until we can't we decide what we're doing. Gotcha. <clears throat> well, like I said, I vote we avoid them. Sneak around the outside. Any thoughts, brother? We we shouldn't even try to. So we should go back the way that we came, take the long way around, and avoid as many of these things as we can. There's no way that, sorry, Milo, that he's going to make it through in that armor. The further away from this town that we are, the better. If it takes a little bit longer, so be it. But we shouldn't go through. We shouldn't go around. We should, whatever avoids any kind of a fight is what we should do. Uh, I don't think we have enough time to go back. Hey, the other problem is we don't know what else is out there. If we get off the road, go into the forest, it could be far, far worse. I'm not saying go to the forest. I'm saying just move away from the town so that they can't see us. They can't see us now. Yeah, but they're going to hear us. The undead are stupid and slow. Why not just throw something in the distance and see if they follow? I was thinking that too, but it might also... Attract more? That's good, we then we have a head count. How we don't know how many more are in the houses. Then no, but that's, that's a good idea. We draw them out, the we know what they, what's there. Sorry, Zito. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's fine, I'm... Guys, you got a good throw in arm, right? Uh, Aisha shrugs. I'm not sure how throw for distance would work. I also oh, have just a so bow. I understand. Oh, hold on. What exactly are you going to throw? 
We don't need so much to throw. We just have to have something make noise in a distance away from us. And when they look over towards us to see where it came from? I'm not sure they're that intelligent. I would feel they would aim more towards where the sound is coming. The, the sound is going than they, where it's coming from. Right, but how many seconds do you think we're going to have between they figure out that it's nothing and us having to go all the way to the other side of these buildings? I don't know much about these kinds of things, but just looking at them, I don't think they're going to be that quick to figure it out. Uh... I think that's DM speak for they're figuring it out very quickly. No! That's DM speak for they're going to start moving. So... I'm in favor of distraction noise to try and and yeah. with a little bit of advantage. Yeah, I'm, I'm in sneak. favor of going the other way. We'll give them the old yeet and sneak. All right, what are you throwing? Is everyone voting for the throw or are we voting for... No, the, but I'm outvoted. Chances? I say we throw Kai. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. Fuck That's you, what throw throw you? <laughs> Right, but what are you throwing? What do you have in your inventory you want to throw? Uh, That's a great question. I'd love to see I this. will. I will pull out a dagger. What about this? Well, be prepared to never see that dagger again. I mostly use it for crafting anyway. Although you said you had a bow, didn't you? Yes. Oh. Milo looks at Eskan and shrugs. You throw the bow at the zombies? Like, throw the whole bow. God, that's a, that's a season one Spongebob joke right there. <laughs> we have technology. <laughs> I'm up for for Otho shooting an arrow like at one yeah. of the back houses. Yeah. Is, is, is there something that looks like it would create far more noise, I should say? Should we, like, um, roll a perception check to see if there's anything that would create noise if it hits, it's get hit by the arrow? Here's sure. a, here's a question. Ahead. Is there a bucket hanging from the well? Perception checks. Ooh, yeah, let's go for it. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Soft 20. Oh, what are the odds? Aww. Milo. 18. <laughs> Milo. You are very short, and I'm very sorry. You are currently Man. hiding behind a stack of logs. <laughs> no, I'm just imagining it's Christmas time in my head because the colors. I rolled a nat <laughs> one and a nat twenty for those of you listening. <laughs> uh, Eskan and Gaius and Otho, you do see that there is currently dangling on a rotted uh, rope is a what appears to be a copper bucket or some sort of metal bucket. You're not sure exactly what type, but it is metal. Probably some sort of cheap metal. Why that will create try noise. Ding it off the bucket. Aim for that then. I could try. I think we should all be prepared to run around the outskirts as well as soon as it hits. I will pull the short bow from my back and I will knock an arrow. <laughs> no the fuck you will not <laughs> can you just can you just fire it can you just yeah can, can you, you fire just fire the arrow yeah what are you gonna right. say next you're gonna let loose the arrow <laughs> fuck <laughs> i will <laughs> i will sh shoot the bucket all right what's the range on your bow uh 80 feet with a 320 foot maximum all right, go ahead and roll to hit the bucket. Feels good, don't it? <laughs> well, it's a short bow, so... 12. 12 matches. <laughs> oh, wow. As you Ooh. let loose the arrow, Kong, it hits the bucket, and I would like everyone to roll initiative as the zombies turn to the noise and begin to move. So everybody roll initiative <gasps> for this. Oh, oh, not in combat. Oh. 13. 3. 5. <laughs> Well, there you go. Kai's getting out of there. Kai's Kai, the first Kai one to fucking ready. book it. <laughs> <laughs> right. 17. Just bolts in the opposite direction. Kai, no! Right. We have Kai with 21. <laughs> we have Otho with 17. We have Gaius with 13. I almost said task there. We have Iskan. Hey, it's me. 
with a five, and we have Milo. Ah, oh, oh, that Ooh. this is like initiative. really appropriate, though. Honestly, uh, oh, yeah, I, I'm, 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 I'm fine to be the short lead and you know try to take it up the rear. All right, you're, let's you're see being double D in the back. Oh, okay, that's right. No, I'm double D. Darn these accursed short legs of mine. Well okay. <laughs> Kai, as the bucket goes off and all three zombies <laughs> turn towards the middle, what do you do? Goodbye. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Go ahead. Uh, are you rolling stealthy or are you just running? Because if you're going to go just stealthy, running. you move. Oh, you're just running? You... I'm just running. What? That means you don't. That means you don't get a stealth check, and that is going to alert all the zombies. I'm just going to warn you that right now. If you move half your movement, you can move stealthily and avoid making noise. Well, then I guess I'll roll a stealth check. All right. So you have to move half your movement. So you have to move halfway back, and also be sure to account for um, like walls. Oh, I did. I did the the bend thing. You got okay. the bends. Bendy. So you can only go about. Here's got like machine. So go ahead and roll a stealth check for me. It's a 22. Okay. Easy enough. You sulk by. They don't even notice you. They are all their attentions turned towards the bucket. And they <gasps> begin to lumber forward. Otho, it is now your turn. You watch as your brother kind of very, you know, kind of crouch down, kind of skirts around towards another pile of logs. Uh, I am also uh, likewise going to try and, and sneak up to get to him. You got it. Go ahead and roll a stealth check for me. Uh, give me about there. You notice as these things move, like just around them is just like oh. this. this it's 26. You did it. 26. You did it. It wasn't a nat one on a stealth you roll. You did nice. it. You did it. Very, very nice. You easy enough just disappear in a flash and immediately kind of lean your back up against the pine wood. And you are completely <sighs> unnoticed. It is now the zombies' turn, and due to their very low intelligence, immediately they make their way towards the well and are all going to make investigation checks. Side the well? <laughs> oh no, my bucket. They fall into the well I with it. I hope they fall in. <laughs> That'd be amazing. <laughs> Two of them immediately, like, kind of leer down the well while another one, <gasps> its eyes begin to scan the area now. The other two seem to have fallen for it, but one of them seems to be a bit more attentive. That ends the okay. zombie's turn. Darn Gaius. you, salutatorian zombie. It is now your turn. Watch me botch this, fellas. Watch out. Oh, don't I worry, have I'm next. That. I have a disadvantage in stealth. Say anything. Do, 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 do. Yeah, <laughs> dude. Whoa, 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 whoa. Zito. Yeah. This is I why think. I told you not to, but okay. Where are you we, moving to? It was to? worth a try. Say what? Where are you moving to? Because you're moving while you're doing this. So. Well, th this is obviously not going to fucking help. So you know what? Wait a second. If he moves half speed you... of half speed, would he not have to roll in a, a, a stealth check? No, you he... have to. Half speed is to get the stealth check. I am going to make. What if you did half of noise. half? What if you only did fifteen? That's not. No, that's not how that works. Well, it was worth the shot. You're making the it's stealth check for moving. Period. Yeah, you are. Yeah. Don't you have like extra? Uh, speed you, something? Zito, you can't change your decision now that you're rolled. You oh no, no, I failed. know, I know that, yeah. but I'm now, I'm now deciding on having myself be a target while everyone else fucking runs. But that's changing what? your decision. You have to move where yeah, you, you intended you, to before yeah, the you roll. Have to you pick can't. Where you're gonna move yeah. and then roll. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So you'd be over by us. Da, 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 da. I'd be there. All right, and as you walk by, your foot breaks a branch, and one of the zombies <gasps> turns. This one, luckily the one that's furthest away, seemed to have maybe seen you, but it is not its turn. And that brings us to Eastcan. It is now your turn. Here we go. <sighs> Eight nice. Woo! I'm a sneaky boy. You kind of bring up a leaf in front of you and then, like, move. <laughs> the group. Pay no attention to the dancing fern. Uh, Milo, it is now your turn. Mm -mm. It wouldn't be possible to move and then ready a spell should they react, correct? Uh, then you can only move 15 feet because the idea is that people are taking their action to dash. So Right. Um, 
player taking their action to stealth. The other thing too is that um uh sorry my brain just stopped working. Um no, you to do a held action you have to forego everything. So you have to forego mm -hmm. your movement, you have to forego like your bonus and your Thanks, action. Five E. <laughs> well, hey, it, it'd be pretty busted otherwise. So yeah. It wasn't busted in three five. I had an idea for something, but I don't want to spook the group, so I'll just do what everyone else is doing. Um, oh boy, here we go. Disadvantage rolled. Eh, it's not like it'd matter much. <laughs> 20, 10, 30. You could go to that spot between Kai and Otho, by the way. I could. That's not where Get I want to go. Brotherly love? Forget that. <laughs> Fair point. All right, you sneak over. Kai, it is now your turn. You see uh, now that zombie to the north from your point, just kind of like through a window, through one of these houses, just kind of like its posture now turning towards where you've all moved. You do notice that it has seemed to have possibly caught in wind of you. You're not sure. But it is looking in our general vicinity. It's looking where you guys ran past, yes. You do notice that. So behind us or where we currently are? Its eyes are currently looking right here where this gap is at the moment. Got it. Um... Iskin has disadvantage or he has a straight roll? Uh, Iskin has a straight roll. Gaius and Milo have disadvantage because yeah. they are wearing heavy armor. Big okay. armor. Big boy armor. So... Kai is going to point to the back of his heel and point to Gaius and then basically show you that you're supposed to step with the back of your heel, not the front, to be a little bit more quiet, and I'm going to use the help action to give it a straight roll. We'll see how that works with hooves, my guy. <laughs> step with the back of your hoof, you know, not the front. I'm Come sorry. On. I, I don't know why I try to roll. <laughs> no, but you are. But you are. And you pedantic Gaius, motherfuckers. Guy, no, but Gaius, this is important. Gaius the, the, pats the back of his hoof and just nods. <laughs> you have you have cloven hooves, right? Yes. There's less surface area in the back. Fuck yeah. <laughs> All right, you have advantage on your next stealth roll, Gaius. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the help, Bosco. Uh huh. You can still move fifteen feet with a with a stealth check as well. Uh. Okay, I didn't know if the stealth check was the action, but yeah, I'll move the 15 then. You guys can't hide, but you are moving stealthily, so that's why your speed is halved, and I assumed you guys are dashing with your action, giving you the full 30 feet while also stealthing. Got it. Essentially, it's the way I'm... 18, very good. You kind well, of as, by... as, as he creeps, he's going to use that strategy of basically in the military where they go heel to foot, and you will notice him mm -hmm. making no noise. And as he stops, he will point to Gaius and be like, like that. Wait for guys to fall backwards because he has no heel in which to stand on. <laughs> Again, I don't. Break. Who's oh, next? I'm having fun. It's you your just the banana Hey, Milo, do you want advantage? Because apparently, Gaius doesn't give a fuck. I mean, I, I, go I never said I didn't give a fuck, you bastard. <laughs> the infighting has I begun, it. chat. Otho, it's now your turn. I just want to punch shit. Uh. Um, does the back of this house look like it has any windows? It does, yeah. It has a single window where you currently see your brother kind of ducking down behind it. There is a window here, but they're completely broken. All the glass is gone. There's one here, uh -huh. and then there's one right here. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Uh, I'm just going to move up next to Kai. Uh, could I just test the window to see if it's locked? Uh, you can just climb in if you wanted to because there is no window. Remember, they're oh. broken. Uh, hmm. No, I'll just have a brief look around inside the house, actually. Uh, it is scorched. There is the faintest semblance of what used to be old furniture, but beyond that, like, there's nothing discernible. What isn't burnt is just rotten. Okay. Um, 
Uh, in that case, I guess I'll just try to stay hidden. Okay, got it. It is now the zombie's turn. This zombie slowly makes its way towards where it heard the sound. These two. Oh no. Oh, this one's very dumb. This one seems to have lost interest in the well and is now <gasps> lolling its head around. This one is still like looking down the well and is still properly distracted. Yo, Johnny, I swear I heard something here. <laughs> <laughs> that ends the zombie's turn. Gaius, it is now your turn. You've been All taught right. the secret ways of sneaking. I have. Let's try it. A sneakrit, if you will. Mm -hmm. Yes. Here we go. 14. 14. Very good. Well, it would just be the nine. Oh, right. It's the nine. Never mind. Nine. Right. Because you don't have to One, two, three, four. Wait, hold on. I have the measurement. Why am I doing yeah, this? I was like, what are you doing? I'm a fucking Nimrod. <laughs> oh, no, don't there say there we are. Uh, 35 feet. Oh, well, I have an extra plus five feet, so. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Then you're good. You're good. You're good. Sorry. Yeah. I, 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 as a satyr, I have 35 feet. That's right. As you kind of make your way by this time, you're completely silent and the zombie does not notice you. And he's like, hooray. And it's now just kind of looking as it can't seem to track what it saw. That ends Gaius' <laughs> turn. Iskan, it is now your turn. Eight. Eight. If it meets, it beats. And you need oh. it. So you Woo. beat it. Hi, guys. Unnoticed. Hey, how's it, hey, how's it going? Hi, how are you? <laughs> Milo. How are you? I have a mechanical question for you, Moni. Uh-oh, sure. What, what is a, it? Oh, no, nothing bad. Um, A spell that only requires a verbal component, <clears throat> does it have to be spoken loudly? It can be whispered, but it would give you disadvantage on your stealth check, I would say. Okay. I mean, I already have disadvantage. Um, Double disadvantage. Do you guys trust me? We just met. Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> do you as players trust me? Oh, yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. Sure. I mean, yes. All right. Monty? Uh -huh. Although, this might change that. <laughs> har, 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 har. Yeah, we're nowhere close. Um, zombies need to roll a deck save. I'm going to cast Fairy Fire by whispering a oh, short prayer to them. You know. Ooh. Okay. Because they here's the thing. They're all gonna glow. Can I, and ask, I would can I ask the thought process behind this? One, they're gonna glow. It may confuse okay. them more. Two, if we get seen, we can take them down much faster. Um, question then, Monty, mechanically, will they know the source of where the spell came from? Uh, we'll find out. Oh, great. Because nothing in the spell says, nothing in the spell says that anything is released out of me, energy, or visually. It's just an area gets hit. So, you reach out your hand. What's the range on Fairy Fire? 60 feet, correct? Mm-hmm. Yes. All right. And it has so a verbal solid. component. It does. That's why yeah, it's yeah. whispered. It's talked. Like a whisper. I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to have disadvantage. Wow. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> uh, the first zombie, the one that's the highest alert, got a 14. Okay. So Me that meets it. That meets it. That meets the DC. Uh, oh, God. I can't remember. If it ties, I believe it saves, if I'm not mistaken. I can't remember how we rule this. I always forget. Meets it, beats it, is what you've been doing for, so for, far. Yeah, aggressor, aggressor wins. wins. Yeah, aggressor wins. Is how so, you've always ruled it. So if, so if, Kai, or if Milo, the Milo is the aggressor, he wins. He wins. I'll allow it. Yep. Yeah. All right. So it fails. Mm -hmm. Second zombie. Uh, natural 20 minus 2 is 18. So that's wow. Success. Damn. Get that crit out the way. I rolled a natural with this. And the other one got a, a 16. Uh, actually, fucking reduced, Cirque du yeah. Soleil zombies. Right? <laughs> so I'm assuming oh, 14. So mm -hmm. this one is lit up like a disco ball. And immediately all the zombies go. <laughs> and immediately are on high alert. Uh, go ahead and make yourself check with disadvantage. Them. I love that hum. <laughs> Oh, oh, sadness. Oh, come on, roll 20. That's just what it is. Just being mean now. 
immediately this zombie sees you. <gasps> and we'll find out what happens on their turn. Uh, Sorry, the turn order, Monty. Kai. My Monty, quick question. Uh -huh. Yep. Uh, <laughs> getting all of those today. Does does cover apply? Uh, not to this, no, because your movements, your stepping can make noise as well. Mm -hmm. So they're also listening. It's passive Dry perception. You're trying to beat their passive perception, which includes... Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Here. So mm -hmm. as Milo, you move, that zombie <gasps> makes a noise, and all of you hear it, and you feel like you may have been noticed by at least one of them. Okay. Are actually technically two of them. Two of them notice you because the guy looking at the well is looking up, goes <laughs> like confused, has no idea what's going on. Cocks an eyebrow, the eyebrow falls off. He heard Kai. music and now there's flashing lights. Is it zombie Raven mm -hmm. Clock? Kai, it is now your turn as you peek and look at the zombies. One of them is glowing like a disco ball, and two of them are currently looking to where Milo just ran past. <sighs> so they saw us. Saw I me. Think so. Saw this, Milo, this, at least, yeah. This, the, the dude who's lit up saw Milo. I think A bug game question time. for the party. Are we going to still attempt to stealth, or are we good to not worry about it anymore? I, I mean, think I'm ready to uh, pull up the Bones and Burial, the, the battle music for Easton Vale. Uh, I'm going to use double movement to get off the map and run. All right. You just dash and run. You are accounting for... Correct. I have 60 you feet are, of movement, yeah. so I can get 10 feet off the map. All right, Kai, you rush off the map. <clears throat> Otho, it is now your turn. Um, can I see uh, when when Kai runs, do, uh, does he get, garner the attention of everybody else? Immediately, oh. the two zombies, <gasps> they're both their heads turned towards where Kai just runs past, kind of brushing through trees and snapping twigs. Um. You, you said that these ones can sort of like, I can see this one through the window. Could I see <sighs> this one as well? Uh, if you move one space up, yes, you can. Okay. I'm going to move one yeah. space up. I'm going to fletch an arrow and uh, fire at this glowing one. You have advantage because you are technically still hidden. And uh, if this hits, then you And get... fairy fire. And, and fairy, fairy fire. Yeah, that too, actually. Yeah. And if you hit, you get sneak attack, so go for it. That was the goal. Okay, well, what the? Is it gonna? There it goes. Uh, uh, well, roll again. One and... At advantage. Much better. 22. There we go. Yeah. 22 hits. All right. That'll be. Uh, nine piercing damage. You got it. As you strike the zombie, it, and you watch it release a puff of smoke, like a puff of ash just spills out of it at the instant you hit it, almost like blowing up a bag of flour. It spreads across the zombie. Well, let me see here. Just so we have a reference. There's now ash coming off of the zombie as you hit it for nine hit points. Is it consistent or just a puff once? Um, uh, you don't know yet. Okay, I'll say that. Alrighty, Otho, that is your attack. Uh, and then I'm going to run thirty feet up here behind this house, and. Okay. Uh, Hope for the best. All right. Move the camera up. That ends Otho's turn. It is now the zombie's turn. F in the chat. Yeah. This one immediately dashes, bursting forward. I need... Uh, actually, this goes away. So, luckily, the ash as it runs stays behind it. Also, but if, you, if, dash... you're, if there's like a particle that you put there on screen, sort of like representing something, we can't see it. You can't see it. Okay, good to know. Mm -hmm. uh, it like dashes forward. 
uh, leaving a trail of ash behind it and bursts through the window and tries to reach and claw for you, Gaius, but that ends its turn as it uses its turn to dash. Uh, the other zombie is runs to cut you guys off. It doesn't know it's cutting you off, but it does see you as it runs forward. The one in the well... Oh my god. It's a really nice well, alright? <laughs> Frank was always a little behind everyone else. <laughs> that ends the zombie's turn. Gaius, as the zombie <gasps> is reaching up towards you, glowing like a disco ball, what do you do? Well, obviously, I fucking saw that it's gonna glow ash, so punching this thing is going to emit that. But unfortunately, we're running out of options, and I am a melee fighter, so I have to hit this guy hard and fast. Let's go. I'm. I'm. Oh, fuck you. Yeah, I was. I was about to make a move. The guy just like turns his head, looks at Milo. Fuck you. <laughs> oh God. Okay. Oh. Oh fuck me. All right. Fine. Uh, I'm gonna jab freehand. You got it. Twenty-five. Nice. Oh. I think you got him. Nine bludgeoning damage. Nine hits. You clock the zombie in the head. And you brace yourself, but no ash emits from its body. Whew, Excellent. I got it off. Cool. It uh, offhand. Hit it, it again. Go. You got it. Go for it. The dander. No modifier. Oh, it's hit. 18. 22. Absolutely hits. So that will be four. Actually, four no, that's one. Damage. Sorry. That's, that's one. All right, it is. You punch it again. You watch as its neck twist and snap, and like it's now holding on by just like a little bit of bone and just a little bit of flesh. Is it? <gasps> it's currently like the head is swinging, but it is still fighting. It is still alive, unfortunately. Gross. It's me. That's your turn. <laughs> That's turn. All righty. That brings us to Eastcan. It is now your turn. I am going to pull my quarterstaff out and I'm going to jab at the zombie doing damage and also attempting to push him back into the window because get out Got of here. <laughs> pushing him like a pool. Like trying to no push way. a fucking dead animal out the window. <laughs> get out! Get out! Get out, <laughs> get out of here. God, like a raccoon always... on, your, on your porch. You're just like, get out of here. How do I... Did the advantage and disadvantage thing go away? Am I blind? I guess I'll just roll twice. Just yeah. Roll twice. Uh, uh, 13, okay. both ways. They both hit, so 13 Excellent. hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Five damage. You're using it two-handed or one-handed? I didn't say beforehand, so... I'll say for, you know, unless you're holding another weapon or a shield, then you're going to always probably use two hands, so I'm going to say you take the okay. seven damage. Cool. All right. So I have to make. It is bludgeoning damage. All right, and you you whack off its head, and the head lands on the ground and bounces a couple of times in front of Gaius, and you, but the zombie, like slumps for a moment, and then <gasps> keeps clawing without its head now, as unfortunately it survives with its undead fortitude. Yeah, that's super cool. Um. I'm not biting this thing. So, yeah, that's a good oh, idea. idea. Don't do that. <laughs> so, another episode of good idea, bad idea. <laughs> no. uh, hmm. Would you say he would have disadvantage on a reaction if I tried to move? Since he has no head. I can't say that. That's cool. I'm still going to attempt to move. Okay. Uh, I'm coming to you, Otha. Uh, I'm assuming a seven doesn't hit you. It does not. You watch without any sound, just like gurgling in its neck as it swipes out towards you, but you manage to skip ahead. Its reaction has been used. Get Correct. pecked, zomboy. All right, That's that brings my turn. us to Milo. It is now your turn, Milo. Okay. Uh, this is a good enough spot. Um, Milo's going to extend his right hand out as the holy icon glows ever faintly. And he, and he, he, he whispers out, 
Odin puts you down. And it needs to make a deck saving throw. You got it. Uh, seven. That is it a failed. failure. And as you flash out the radiant damage, you watch as the body curls inwards like a dying spider as the zombie flips back into the house and lands on the ground and is dead. <clears throat> he, he grips his fist with a new fervor. And, uh... Yeah, I think I'm not gonna move, actually. You're gonna stay there? Okay. You got it. Alrighty, mm -hmm. that brings us around top of the turn order. Kai, you are running, and as you turn around, you don't see anybody behind you. What do you do? I, I don't see them at all, like, even the people who are 30 feet behind me. Like, uh, Ozone, I, yeah, you would Ozone Eastcan would be on my line of sight. Yeah, you see East Cannon, and you see your brother currently, I'm assuming, loading another short force shot. I'm not sure, but you do see some action going on behind you. Otho, come on! Let's go, East Ken! And I'm going to ready action dash if they come near me. You got it. All righty, that brings us to Otho. It is now your turn. Um. Oh, boy. Um. What are we doing? I am going to... Oh, God, I, I can't move with a radiant action as well, right? Uh, no, you cannot. Radiant action takes your whole entire turn. Um, In that case, I am... I am going to follow my brother. All right, you rush I'll... ahead following your brother. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Ooh. that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to... Yeah, yep. I'm just... I'm I'm running. You got it. Thanks! <laughs> <laughs> All right, that brings us to the zombies' turn. I just want to check well, guy, and just see... <laughs> How nope. well he's doing? <laughs> nope! Hey. I, rolled, I rolled a one, a two, a three, a four, and then a two Wait. again. Did he, did, he catch, did he catch his reflection uh, in the water and remember his old life? <laughs> Connor, you only moved 30 feet, right? Uh, yeah, I only moved 30 feet. <sighs> you could still ready in action to hit somebody if they come into your line of sight. Well, no, I can't I can't move and then ready in action, like Monty said. Yeah, we... we you could attack and then run, so you could have attacked and then ran if you wanted to. Yeah, you just flip it. Yeah. Ugh, I'm really but close you, with the short. I'm really close with the short bow, though. With that, no, you're, as anything? long as it's not as within long as five you're not, feet. As long as you're, yeah. yeah, five feet. Okay, well, I'll I'll go ahead and do that then. Okay, Sorry, I'll honor I'm it. I'm trying to. I'll, I'll, I'll honor it. I'm trying to figure all this stuff out. It's all new. Firing a right. shot at the closest one. I'm gonna move eleven. You were here, I believe, correct? Yeah. All right, eleven. That hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Okay. No, uh, sneak, no attack, sneak attack, though, I'm assuming. Very well aware of you. Uh, seven damage. Seven damage, not bad. That brings now we're right. Now. <laughs> we're gonna... And <laughs> nobody is within range. It <laughs> releases the ash. No one is caught within it. Guys, you actually bring up your arms and gonna block it, but no one's close enough to be affected by it. There we go. And then you can move if you wish. Yeah, and now Whoa. I'm gonna run off off screen. All right, you got Sorry it. Sorry about that. I didn't know if the short bow would give me disadvantage. Right? No, you're good. No, That's any, any, like... ranged, any ranged weapon, you have to have at least a five foot gap between you and the target, essentially. Like, you you're... can't fire someone directly I'm, next to you. I'm getting used to wielding a weapon now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. You played a Kensai monk. You know how to shoot things. Well, yeah, but those were really far away, and it was pretty obvious. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Still the zombie's turn after it got shot. It is going to go for you, though, Iskan, because you are the closest target that it can visibly see, and you're also blue. Uh <laughs> wow. Double you're D, double blue. nine. Racist zombie. <laughs> uh, it rolled like garbage. That is going to be an eight to hit you. That was miss. All right. It reaches out with its arms and goes to slam at you, but you manage to kind of lean your neck back, and it scrapes across the rock behind you. That ends the zombie's turn while the well zombie, you know, is looking down and contemplating things. And, I you know what? Gonna... 
Just Never be a sensitive before. boy. You watch uh, Gaius, as, as you kind of peek through the window, you watch as the zombie grabs the bucket, snaps it off the rope, and then puts it on its head. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I imagine it, it, we're going to oh be my long God. gone. It, everything else is going to be dead. He's going to pull the bucket off. Guys, where'd you go? <laughs> I'm, I'm looking oh, forward man. to when we come back in 28 episodes and Frank the Buckethead Zombie is still in here. I love this guy. I love Electric Tears. <laughs> All right, that ends the zombie's turn. Gaius, it is now your turn. The cloud's still there. Uh, no, it dissipates as the zombie's turn ends. Fucking excellent. Nothing personnel, kid. You got it. You flank behind the zombie. Hell yeah. Let's go. Let's go jab freehand. Crack. Absolutely. Nice. One. Not natural 20. <laughs> no, 18. 12. Yeah. Oh my All God. right, you slam, Wretched. you're using your, you you punch through its body and like Iskan, you see a fist grow out of its like rib cage and then immediately retreat back in. You see a perfect hole where you see Gaia's reeling back. The zombie is still alive. I mean, Offhand. I'm no doctor, but. Offhand punch. Shouldn't there be like bones and organs? <laughs> 24 to hit. Nice. Absolutely hits. That is five. Five points of damage, all right. Oh, you punch off its head again, but unfortunately it kind of slacks to the ground for a moment and then <laughs> regains I, its posture. Can, can I flavor how this goes then? I fucking, uh, I, I punch through his chest, re I, I jab through his chest, and then I fucking hook my arm to as it's coming out to instead windmill and punch his head into his chest cavity. You got it. Oh my god, Bonk. so he's looking out through the hole? Yeah, he's looking out through the hole now. <laughs> you made my Otis Mon. <laughs> right. Unfortunately, turn. he is still alive. That ends Gaius' turn. That brings us to Eastgen. It is now your turn. Do you know what time it is? What time it's is stick it? time. Let's go. Right. Stick it to him. Dude, stick it to him. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah. 17. Nice. 19. Oh, yeah, 19, 19. 19. Oh, three it's whole three damage. Amazing. Bonk. You just like a, the, the most sad pinata known to birthday kind. It's you just start beating the shit out of the zombie. And you're like, go to sleep, go to sleep. And it just like, and it still survives. It's I, so yours. Listen, I'm going to just go ahead and provoke and yeet myself off the map. You got it. Bye. Oh no. Did it just crit? It just crit. That's awesome. This is amazing. It's beautiful. Did you eat a toast? I did not. We haven't had money. You took my bread away. That's right. I did take my <laughs> bread away. Oh, okay. It's not the greatest amount of damage. Uh, you take six points of bludgeoning damage. <sighs> as you, it's as the zombie, despite its head being in such a precarious position, like actually grabs you by the tail and like lo like slams you against the side of the, the the stone and you manage to slip your tail out and run but your head is bleeding down the side. Oh. Mr. Right. Seat Lolly, are you all right? <laughs> Just <run>. No. <laughs> <laughs> Milo, uh, is that in your turn? You scan. Yes. All right. That brings us to Milo. It is now your turn. The radiant light will put you down. Okay. Uh, same second verse, same as the first. Uh, Next where saving throw. Yep. DC fourteen. Ooh. Max damage. <laughs> well, it would have been a fourteen if it didn't have a minus two. So now it's a twelve, which is a cool. failure. It takes max damage. <laughs> is very dead as would it you collapses say he's the ground in the heat. Toast. All right, I'm gonna do my movement. <laughs> All right, and uh, I'm gonna look at guys and give my thumbs up. <laughs> yeah, right. thumbs uh, up Kai. with like fucking like rotten like brain matter on his hands. No, it's fine. <laughs> is out of combat. Otho is out of combat. It is the zombie's turn. My guy, please roll above a goddamn six, please. He's got a bucket on his head. <laughs> it's like a hat. It's not like over the face. It's like a okay. nice little hat. A uh, he now notices his companion dying. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> Frank, you were my favorite. <laughs> Bucket zombie then chases after you with its arms raised. 
That ends his turn. Gaius, it is now your turn. I'll take a step back and, oh, could you put me above dead zombie? Yeah, I will put him back. There you go. You can move, move now. Thank you. I will uh, take a step back and throw a hand axe at him. You got it. Wee hoo, 25. Wow. Hits. Seven damage. Ooh, seven slashing to bucket. No, All right. don't kill Frank. He's, He's coming for us, man. <laughs> As you throw, the axe like, embeds itself in its shoulder, and then the axe just <sighs> releases and then lays still. Good, that's what I wanted. Is it a five foot or ten foot radius? Uh, it comes out five feet around it. Okay. It appears. So melee yeah. range. So so I, I just I just blew the ash out of him, so you're good to go melee if you wanted. Ha <laughs> ha. You say that to Milo? <laughs> Listen, I'm getting into character as Gaius the character, okay? Alrighty. Gaius, does that end your turn? That's turn for me. I'm not leaving without that hand axe. You scan is off the map. Milo, it is now your turn. Milo looks back to you and just like gives this big determined smile as he reels his hand back and it just charges and and shines ever so brightly. Um and he calls out one last time. Orin's light puts you down. And let's do the guiding bolt. Guiding bolt, you got it. Oh. oh, come on! That was literally the exact same roll. <sighs> you fucking shoot Gaius right in the face. Ow. <laughs> As you say, or and light, you know, bring you down and you reach back your hand. There's no light. And the clouds above you block out the sun. And your spell, What's unfortunately, does not work. Was something supposed to happen? Uh, last time it did, yes. Uh... Well, let's see here. Um, that's a sheer cliff, right? That is a sheer cliff. Oh yeah. boy, it is. Okay, I'm trying to get somewhere. Cause you're not leaving, right? No, I'm not leaving without that hand axe. Okay. Can so I anything, move? Anything above here, you cannot stand it. It has to be within this line. So here. right here, like this. Yeah. yeah. Could I could could I see from that angle? Uh, the zombie? Yeah. No, he's behind a house at that point. This one has no windows. Okay. It's a shed. And a bucket. <laughs> good. Well, All yes, right. That's I'm going gonna, gonna to hang back here then. I'm called All good. All right. You got it. Top of the turn order. Kai is off combat. Otho is out. That it is, is the bucket so zombie. so weird. Same nat 1, nat 20 roll. It happens. I know. It's just weird. Uh, that is going to be a, an 11 to hit you, Gaius. Okay, just picture if you will, it hits him in the chest and Gaius does absolutely nothing. That it misses. punches you. Yep. Yeah. Alrighty, that ends the zombie's turn. That brings us around to you, Gaius. It is now your turn. Gaius, like, smiles as the hand is still, like, in a bare Ooh. fist on his chest. <gasps> Honorable combat! Punch! <laughs> oh, yep, you got it. <laughs> Go ahead and roll damage. Nine. Nine points. He is still standing, but he's looking pretty rough. Alright, let's do it again. 17. 17. Let's go and roll damage. Ignore the plus. It's gonna be. Oh, uh, that's four. Four points. Zombie is still standing. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna. That bucket's getting dented. I'm just gonna like, <laughs> one thing taken aside, another like immediate punch to the face. I like just dents a permanent fist mark into the bucket. Okay, so one of the most fucking illegal moves you could possibly do in MMA is putting your knee up and then using your elbow to thrust the opponent's head into it. That's what oh, Gaius God. does as he lurches around for the, for Milo to get the opening on the flank. You got it. That brings us to Milo. It is now your turn. <clears throat> he looks at you a little perplexedly, looks to his hand, and, and there's 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 a there, there's a bit of uh oh boy sweat going down his face, but he's going to give it one more shot. Raises his hands up looking for the light, uh, the, the symbol gleams once more. Let's try to make it happen, Monty. Uh, that is going to be a 13. That fails, takes three radiant that fails. Damage. His body disintegrates. The bucket on his head bounces twice and then rolls like a hubcap after, you know, a race or something, then lies still. 
as combat has now ended. Ooh. Guys, good show! Making me the victor. <laughs> Guys just like was wrenching the bucket between his elbow and his knee. <laughs> like holds it up. Yeah. It takes his hand axe back. He's actually like ecstatic. Like he doesn't look it because he's ever smiling so fucking like, you know, nonplussed looking. But mm. his tail's wagging, so at least you got that as an indicator. Would he accept a high five? Fuck yeah. He would have Let's to bend go. down though. He kneels down and high five. Whatever. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Alright. Do you chase after your companions? Yep. I guess. I, I, I take the right. bucket as a trophy. Can... Right. Add a add a bucket <laughs> to your inventory. Let me go grab the weight for that. Uh guys, actually. Guys, do you think it would be worth taking some of that ash? Maybe we could find some way to stunt it? Research it. I mean, I do have this bottle. But that's got your drink in it. I drank it. Oh. Uh, do you mind then? Just shrugs. I'm gonna fucking... I'm gonna cork up a bottle of the ash. Alright, you gain ash zombie ash. You can add that to your inventory. Okay. Do you want me to carry that, or do you got it? If you want to. Sure. Well, was... well you know what? No, because I'm the one with the fucking bottle. This is okay. mine. I paid for it. <laughs> my body like my it, but this one now. is mine. My ashes! Uh, <laughs> the bucket is two pounds, Gaia, so if you add a bucket to your inventory, it should apply that. I'm, I'm the guy with 270 and 75 uh, weight limit capacity, so this is Dude, fine. Yeah, like, but you were at 273 before. From, from all that can... moxie you've been carrying around. <laughs> Dude, I mean, honestly, it could be really helpful, because if we need to get water, and there's no, you know water yep, well yep. bucket that's a good yeah. idea we got tons yeah, of rope sure. so i'm gonna add those to my inventory give me a second cool speaking of which are you guys out of water if we're out of water i can take care of that i'm not drinking from i mean that there's all <laughs> okay fair enough <laughs> yo wait a minute yo, yeah. hold up before, dude before we leave don't you have purify water and shit yeah and i got rope give me 10 minutes I can and make i got this clean. bucket my dude let's go <laughs> let's go all right, you guys, with the High success five of killing the zombies and gaining access to the well, you all gain back your water skins. So your water skins. Hell are yeah! Cool. cool. You guys, I am bleeding. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm I, clean for you to drink. Iskin kind of like slowly stumbles up behind Kai and Otho, with a little bit of blood running down the side of his face. Mister Sitlali, are you all right? Ah. <sighs> Oh, he's gone. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Oh, I can, I can fix that. Uh, Kai is going to put his hand on uh, uh, Iskan, uh, and he's going to uh, cast uh, Cure Runes just like uh, uh, Milo. <clears throat> cool. Okay. And Milo? it doesn't work. So, And it doesn't work, so he's just there looking like an idiot. <laughs> oh, are you not actually casting? Pause? I'm not actually casting it, no. Ah, thank you. Well, so were you doing that in character? Uh, I was okay. doing that in character. He's okay. do, he's trying to do exactly to oh, Eskin oh, what you did to him. Hold on, I I appreciate it. Just move your hand for a moment, and he kind of pushes your hand up to the side, and uh, uh, Eskin puts his own hand up to his head, and I am actually going to cast Cure Wounds. A seven HP back. Nice. Iskan, I didn't know you knew magic. Uh, Wait, that wasn't... <sighs> Figures. Can we talk about it later? Of course. No need to rush. You guys stay in a rain, or do you guys find shelter elsewhere? Down the path? Uh, I'd say down the path. We just got here, like, in the morning, didn't we? Mm -hmm. It's like, what, another day till the border? Yeah, you're on the border right now. So next, next, basically next trek is going to be hopefully out of out of ASML. You're not sure. What time is it right now? Uh, probably at this point, like kind of like eleven, twelve, like mid, like noon. I mean, we got time. I think we just leave. Get on the road. Get out of this God's forsaken city. All right, yeah. you guys. Make your way out. You guys eventually find yourselves resting for the evening off the road, just kind of secluded elsewhere. The ash 
and the, well, not the ash, the mist still perpetually haranguing you, but after a watch that goes unabated, dawn arises, and we move to the new map. Hooray, more spells! As Hooray. you guys waken in the morning and begin to make your way eastward, <laughs> it's almost like a wall of mist stands before you just this wall of white and almost dark kind of i hate to say it but kind of like greeny pus like color mm. Mm. of mist lies behind you lies before you like a wall what do you oh do? god we're at the end of the world i've played I... enough ravenloft to know where this is going i don't think that's <laughs> the case um Do you guys want to give me 10 minutes or not? You can say no, it's completely fine. Uh, I don't, I got nothing else going on, so go ahead. Everyone else? I mean, imagine we're all just sort of gathered in front of it, looking at it, so. <laughs> you have the time. <laughs> okay, as long as no one objects. Uh, Mani, I will ritual cast Detect Poison and Disease. Okay. Uh, you detect no poison or disease. I don't think it's dangerous. It may just be here. Gai Gaius uses his arm to carve a smiley face in the mist. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of bring up your hand and you go to carve in and a hand of mist grabs you and then pushes you back. What in the world was that? Can I make an arcana check? Uh... I would say no. You have no idea what the hell this is. All righty then. Mm -hmm. None of you do. This is a very unique phenomenon. Yeah, no uh, kidding. Uh, Iskin is going to pull uh, an oddly bent L-shaped uh, piece of wood from his side. And he takes a couple of steps back. Monty, I'm going to throw my boomerang into the mist and see if it comes back. <sighs> It goes through the mist and then whoosh, comes back immediately through the other side. I'll catch it. Well, there's nothing solid there. Uh, let me try something. Um, I'm, I'm going to uh, bring down the sacred flame upon this thing. Okay. You bring down the sacred flame. Nothing happens. That's so weird. Uh, I'm going to light a torch. Okay. No, you fool! It's made of gasoline! <laughs> <laughs> Eason Vale goes up in smoke. <laughs> <laughs> the vapors! <clears throat> uh, I'm going to try and push the torch into the mist wall. All right, as you take the torch and begin to push into the mist while you watch as forming from the mist, reaching out for your hands come these misty like hands that are just kind of like reaching out towards you, trying to grab your hands. But the torch goes, does go through, the light immediately just snuffs like you don't see it anymore. But when you pull the torch back, the flame is there and the light is still there. Do I, do I physically feel them grabbing me? Uh, they didn't grab you, but they were reaching for you. They're reaching for me, okay? Mm -hmm. Did it seem like the light was keeping them away? Oh, God, no. No, they didn't care. Okay. Okay. So we saw them push Gaius back. They didn't like push physically. Gaius back. Like, I imagine Gaius went, whoa, and backed up, but they oh, just kind of reached out for Gaius. When Gaius went to go draw something with his hand, it, like, reached out to grab his hand, and he pulled his hand back, I only assume. Gentlemen, I think this is going to require a leap of faith. Uh, so what, we just run really fast? That's all I can think of. There's, there's no other way in? Unless you have something. I... No, no, I don't. We have to move forward. So do we agree? I... 
If there's a way I can uh, snuff my torch out, I will. All right, you just kind of like wave it a couple times and just like take a blanket to it and snuff it out. Spit it's still usable. It really it's not used, so you can just put it away. Yeah. Stupid idea. Would it not be smart if some of us have rope to tie it around our waists? I think that would mean we'd go slowly. I thought the idea was to go fast. Well, in case we one could, of us gets stuck. We could walk hand in hand. Well, I don't see any other way. And Ethan kind of holds his hands out. Take my strong hand. Both your hands are strong. Crunch. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'll never lose you. <laughs> uh, Monty. Mm -hmm. Milo's going to be a brave boy. He's going to cast light on the holy emblem on his shield to, to okay. take the frontal position and, and place a hand out for everyone to grab. Of course, you're going to have to squat, guys. <laughs> okay. You guys each take each other's arms. What What's the row? We have Milo in the front. After Milo? Who is after Milo? I guess me. Gaius? Who's after Gaius? That would be me. Alright, who's after Iskan? Guess I'll be me. Alright, and then Kai, you're taking up the rear. Alright. So Milo, as you hold, you know, your light and shield the ready, you step forward, and as you guys watch Milo go and you watch as the mist, just like a bunch, like thousands of arms and hands just kind of swallows up Milo. And as you all begin to walk forward, Milo... The mm -hmm. thickness of this veil is actually very thin. And as you walk through, it feels like you're you're moving through like like there are elastic bands on you. And each movement you take, you kind of push forward, they kind of snap off as these these misty hands are just kind of holding on to you. Mm -hmm. And as each of you begin to progress through the mist, you hear these ambient voices. You are ours. as you eventually all of you burst through on the other side. And for the first time in days, feel sunlight and hear birds. And as you look behind you, you see the wall of mist encompassing the space of Eason Vale behind you. And you breathe in air that is warm. And you feel grass behind you that is lush and moving and growing. And you are officially in Hearthland. Okay, for anyone who knows uh, Roger Rabbit, smile, darn you, smile, because then you know it's a great world after all. <sighs> New map. <laughs> yes. Guys, guys, we did it. We made it through. I don't have my graphing paper with me. <laughs> that sounds like a you problem. It is. <laughs> Look at the sun. Oh, it feels so warm again. If I look into the sun too long, my eyes will burn. That is okay. I am going to do like a big hug gesture upwards. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine the sun just grows in hand and just gives you a thumbs up. Like, so. Hell yeah. It's just the fucking two scoops <laughs> raised in Brent's side. <laughs> <laughs> Single tear runs down Milo's face as he sees it. I'm home. <laughs> two scoops. <laughs> For his part, Eskin is sort of looking back and forth between the fog cloud and this lush greenery that is more in tune with what you would expect to see out traveling. Um, if I move my hand towards the, the cloud from this side, do I see those same hands reaching out to grab? Yep, they sure do. They okay. reach out towards you and you bring your hand back and they retreat back into the fog. Why were we able to get through? Maybe for the same reason we weren't turned. But... I He's don't know anymore. Specified the most affected people were natives of Eason Vale. Which I don't think any of us are. I guess this must be how those other... Thieves we encountered got in. That's right. They got a smuggling ring going through here. Yes, they're Something. smuggling poisons and magical artifacts. That's what I learned. 
Well, shall we keep going? I don't want to go back. Well, then we shouldn't. We have to at some point. Well, yeah, eventually. Look, I don't want to be the bearer of bad news. I know I'm such a downer all the time. <laughs> he says smiling. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, Acorn is to the east. I'm moving. Fuck it. I'm, the sun's out. The birds are singing. The sun's got two scoops of raisins about to throw down at someone. Let's fucking go. Yo, let's go. Sun's out, guns out. <clears throat> what strikes you for the rest of the day is the tinnitus the ringing in your ears just the sheer silence that you've experienced uh, in Eastonvale uh, and now the bird song is just louder the crunch of your feet is just louder the fact that you can see your feet is very nice because there's no longer this permeant fog covering every step you take now you see uh, a very simple dirt road um, with sort of this valley in between of grass, clearly meant for carts and nothing else, and it is overgrown. Uh, it's definitely not been tended to. Uh, and as you guys uh, proceed to walk, the day comes, you guys sit down right off your water skin, right off a ration as the day comes and goes, and I'll move you to the next tile. Uh, on, on that note, if we're taking, if we're doing another day, uh, fill up once again because I am going to create some water. You got it. Hey. You, get, you guys get water back from Milo. Hey. Gaius what? glares at you as you put water you know back in the water skin. You know oh. what's you know what's great about this? You guys have an open container because you have the bucket now. Mm -hmm. Yep. We have Mr. Bucket. Ga Gaius like leans down at Milo as he's making water and putting it into the bucket. He like glares at him. Whoa. Like squint, squints his eye. So you like the sun, and you can make water. Are you a rain cloud? Well, I, I won't rain on your parade, Gaius. If that's what you're worried about, he smiles. You can't fool me. Jokes can't make jokes. I mean, clouds can't make jokes. All right, you're a person. I pat him on the head. I, I wish I could cast Fog Cloud right now just to fuck with you. <laughs> yeah, I, I want you to. <laughs> I could have I could have technically made that rain, but then it would just been a waste of the spell. Now, Moni, I, I want to ask, um, does it need to be in one container, or could it fill multiple containers with the 10 gallons and the rest, I just, I guess, overflow? In an open container, so it's just one. Mm, okay. But a bucket of water, I would say. That's a lot know. of water. That's yeah. that's a lot of water. I mean, that's mm -hmm. enough for all of you easily to I, fill up your water I, skins. I, I want you all to know that because I added the bucket to my inventory, D&D uh, &D Beyond has deemed it very important that I have my own tab specifically for the bucket. <laughs> nice. It's, it's in its own um, place. It's, it's in its own fucking tab next to my <laughs> backpack and pouch. One thing, Monty, um, mm. I am down to... Where are my rations at? I'm down to one ration. Um, being How are you the down chef, to one ration? Uh, pff, I, I don't know. That's what I have. Oh wait, no. I'm sorry. I'm, never mind. Six. I looked at the. I yeah. looked at the weight, not the freaking. <laughs> yep. Okay. Sorry, I'm a dumb. Okay. Um, if we got, whenever we have downtime, like passive downtime during travel, um, I'd love to scavenge for edible herbs. If we come across a pool of water, I'd love to use the tackle. All that good home cooking shit. You got whatever it. You, whatever you catch, I'll punch. Uh, ahead of you is appears to be a very large forest, actually. Ooh. Um, but you don't see any bodies of water nearby, unfortunately. Just just like freaking Pip and Lord of the Rings. Mushrooms! <laughs> 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 I'll sk Would that help, Monty? Like, having the chef background, knowing what plants are edible and which aren't? No, it does not give you a bonus. It just lets you mm. use what you have to make something that's delicious. That gives you a bonus. Okay. Ah, delicious poisonous mushrooms. <laughs> delicious toadstools. Eat up, gang. It's like that caterpillar <laughs> from A Bug's Life. Mmm, poison berry. <laughs> <laughs> this tastes great. <laughs> and I don't... <laughs> <laughs> the bucket. I, don't, I don't suppose, Monty, I could I could use the chef feet on our rations to give them a little spice so we can give some temp HP out, could I? Uh, it is technically food, so yeah, you could. Oh, 
Yeah. Okay, then let's just keep it simple. We got, I, sorry, y'all can't make sun toast. Um, let's do Iskan and Gaius for plus two temp HP. Mm. Okay. Hooray. Okay. Right. You guys enter into the forest. You guys are taking the road, I'm assuming. Oh, yes. yes. Uh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. As you guys make your way into what appears to be almost like a gateway of trees, uh, the boughs immediately kind of hang overhead and glittering sunlight pierces through, scattering across the ground. You guys travel for what feels like probably about six hours, you know, taking breaks here and there just to rest, drink some water, and then keep moving. Uh, but about the seventh mark, seven hour mark, um, you see ahead of you a structure, what appears to be like a wooden. Uh, like kind of um, it looks like a gate or some sort of like standing single wooden fence that is kind of barring the uh, the roadway. Does it look like a toll gate? Ah, uh, no, it doesn't look. It looks very crude in nature. Okay. Oh. Hmm. Do we see any people about it? No, it is it is currently just in the woods. You even see that like some of the woods have kind of claimed it a little bit. There's like some fallen logs nearby and, you know, mm. there's stuff growing near it. <clears throat> Looks like no one's come this way for a while. I can imagine. Should we check it out then? I say we investigate. As long as there's no zombies. As you guys approach, you go onto the other side, um, and on the other side, painted in very quickly red ink, it says, Turn back undead ahead. Oh. Oh, okay. <sighs> Clearly okay. a warning for Eastonvale. Uh, Turn undead back ahead. Got it. Uh, <laughs> we don't go to Ravenholm anymore. Joke's on them. We already did that. We were born in it. <laughs> <Boy! laughs> um, does it, like, does it have like does it have like a closed door does it look maintained at all or it is two posts of wood standing across like across from each other across the road and then there's like a, a piece of wood like nailed between the two that is oh. really that message so it's meant to block the road essentially oh, like, okay. turn back like on, a roadblock sign kind of thing yeah okay. it's like a warning sign yeah Okay, well, if there's nothing else to that, I just say we move on then. Yeah, agreed. They're gonna, they're, we're, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have some explaining to do when we get to the first town, and they're just gonna be like, "Where'd you come from? Uh, we came out of the mist." Zombies! Oh fuck! Uh, that's what we don't say. Money, could I do a quick investigation check to see if there's anything around this thing? Uh, survival check would be probably be more appropriate. Okay. Yeah. That's good because I'm better at those. Sixteen. Yeah, there's nothing here. Okay. Cool. That's it then. Okay. You guys At best, forward. the sign just gets a snort from you, Skin. Night comes. You guys set up a watch. And as you set up your watch, there is one thing to note as night comes, as each of you take your watch. Nothing happens. Also, it's very nice to see the stars. Mm -hmm. But there is a lot of howls. Guy oh, shivers at that. Wolf howls, yeah. I would mm. say, uh, Iskan and Gaius. I want you to make a history check. History 18. Nice, very good. Natural 20 for a total of 22. Excellent, yes, Gaius. In your ventures, because you've, you've come through Hearthland before, um, you've heard that the wolves here are cursed. But to what end, you have no information. And this was well before <sighs> Easton Vale's affliction. East can, with your natural 20, you've also come through Hearthland once before. And curious about this, the nature of this, um, the wolves in these lands are man-eaters. There is some sort of curse on the wolves here that make them attack without you know, attack humanoids with reckless abandon to a point of obsessiveness. Um, and because of your, you know, your class specifically, um, it seems like any attempt to make dialogue is met with psychic damage. And that, you know, 
those wise in the whims of nature um, regard the wolves as incredibly cursed, and no one knows the source and no one knows why. So as you hear the far-off howls, that information sits with you as you all sit around the fire for the night, if you wish to discuss it. Could we actually take a bathroom break? This would be a fantastic place to take a bathroom break, so yes. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Right back then. Cool. Woohoo! Same. Uh, I need more tea. A bucket. I'll be right back. I'm gonna keep the night music on because it's appropriate for the. Uh... <laughs> well, that uh, that was a thing. That happened. What up, guys? It's halftime show time. How's everybody doing? Good. Looks like mostly good. Yeah, thanks, Zen. I appreciate that. That's true. Remember to drink your legs, stretch your water, hell hydrate. What did I do? I didn't do anything. Why am I getting yelled at? Uh, Hound of a Witch, thank you for the 100 bits. Appreciate that. Uh, wanted to say that this is my Unexpectable Season 1 merch. Came in mug and t-shirt, and I love them. Hell yeah. Uh, Dice Ruler with 200 bits. We will never know Bosco class until the final episode. Why do you think the final episode would be the reveal? If I make it that far, I guess won't tell you. Jeez. Kenzie, welcome in for the first time. What would you rather face right now? Undead werewolves, headless birds, Bosco halftime show? Wait, what? Why am I an option on this? What the fuck? No, don't vote for this. No, 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 no. 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 See, y'all are trying to pick a fight now. Look, if you, if you want to fight, if you want me to embarrass all of you on national internet TV, I am more than happy to do so. You do not want to face the halftime show. You do not want to be in the hot seat. Is that like the gazebo? It will not end well for you. I'm back. Welcome back, Zito. Hello. This chat is dead to me. Why would they do? S well, as of right now, 600 and 735 people have said they'd rather face the Bosco halftime show than the undead werewolves or headless birds. And that number has now climbed to 926. There's only 1150 of you in here. <laughs> Damn. People That's are buying rough, votes. People, people are buying yeah, votes, and they're voting more than once. This is not America. You don't get to do that. Unbelievable. 70% of people would rather, you know. They can vote with bits. I know they can vote with what bits. What are we voting fine. on? Fine. Would you rather? What would you rather face, Mark, right now? Undead, werewolves, headless birds, Bosco halftime show, question mark, question mark? Uh, the halftime show, it's the least deadly. Mark, off! It's the <laughs> least deadly. It is not the least deadly. I cannot be killed by your halftime show. Okay. That is not true. 100% true. That is not true. It hasn't happened yet. Well, what it, hasn't happened? That does not, neither has been killed by werewolves or the undead. I have definitely been killed by werewolves and the undead before. <laughs> I've been killed what? by the undead. Happen? You're still alive. Bosco, well, I, Bosco, got I've been killed by the undead once. No, you weren't. Yeah, we all were. Bosco. Yeah, Bosco. in your game. <laughs> Dude. Wait, yeah. what, ha what game? game? You killed Wait, him with an undead. <laughs> oh, sorry. Wow. I forgot all about Calamity. Yeah, so did I. Don't worry about it. It's also the white people, but you know, don't matter. None of this matters. I didn't. I could never forget. Don't matter. None of this matters. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you're having fun, chat. They seem to. There's still like 1,152 of them. Hope everyone's doing good. If you're going to school, stop hope... voting. Okay. Nope. Keep voting. All right. I was gonna say something nice, but instead yelling occurred. So now I'm scared. You should be. I'm gonna hurt this chat. 
So, chat, did you get... Uh, so, I have to ask, because I'm looking at my Patreon right now, on the free supplement of Froblins, and uh, only 11 people have favorited it, and there's like 11, 50, 47 people here. What the fuck? I, I mean, I'll do it after. <laughs> oh, it's fine. <laughs> Dude. I can't. I can't do stuff while we're playing D and D, or Monty but, will get mad at me. I have a gun. <laughs> you can't breathe. I'm not allowed. Monty, you, you can't have, have a gun. gun. You don't allow them in D and D. Yeah, there's no way you have a gun. You can't have a gun. You're Canadian. It's fucking. <laughs> yeah, Monty. You know what I Canadians have? Canadians don't use guns. They use giant trucks that they park in the street. You do do it differently up there. You, you just drive by you and dump I, buckets of boiling hot Courtesy maple syrup. Of Therapod art. Listen to this. I got a fucking sword. I got a gladius. Yeah, but you can't shoot me with Yeah, a sword. but what is it? Made out of <laughs> Can you Teflon shoot a sword? Something? Like what do you, you have a sword? No, it's gun? actually it's an actual sword. Like it's a legit sword. What is it made sharp? out of what? Plastic and filled with air? Uh, I think it's filled with air. <laughs> is it carbon steel? It's I think it's a carbon steel blade. Mm. It's a nice sword. It's a very I, nice It's sword. made out of silicone. I, I, I like I like that someone in chat just said Zito, I don't have money. I can't join your Patreon. What you think I put out is free. Yeah. Well, you have a Patreon? I no, you know I don't need to eat. <laughs> I don't, I, need, I don't need to eat either. I choose also, to. Also, chat. I'm well aware that Canadians can have guns. People are in the wilderness. I am aware. It's a joke. Yeah, that's where that show takes place. What? Yeah, Letter what? Kenny. Oh, yes, oh. correct. Monty, what would your when I, when I think of Monty, I think of Letter Kenny. What is your choice of weapon for fighting a bear? Uh, you know, fucking uh, pray to God. Depends on the bear, though. Um, if it's Monty, a grizzly you've bear, you've faced bears before, and you're still here. Black so. bears, but they're just they're bitches. They don't give a shit. Um, <laughs> I mean, you want to go for the nose and the eyes. So, like, you know, if, if at a range, I would say, I don't know. If I was Bring up naste. close. Like, yeah, bear spray, honestly. I, I would pick bear spray, because I would keep it away from me. From bear spray. I was walking through yeah. Easton Vale the other day. And, and I brought out me magic spear. The uh, bears. Bears. Yo, can uh, I just bears. say that the Bosco Halftime Show not only won, but it did it with 69% of the votes? Nice. 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 I, I, no, it's not nice. Job, I, hate you, I hate all of you. There, there are 1,136 of you here right now, and I hate each and every one of you individually and specifically. No, wow, you, hate, people who you hate their bits, vote, too. The halftime show, too. Yeah, even the ones that didn't vote for it, I still hate you, too. You are guilty by association. Why did we let Bosco in this group? He's so hateful. <laughs> Mark, I have not even begun to hate. Who even invited him? I don't remember. I and I'm the New out. Yorker, so obviously something's wrong here. Are we all back? Yeah, I think so. No. Right. Connor here? Who? I guess not, not here. So oh, no. So. No. I'm here. I'm just snarfing down a hot dog. Yeah, I had to grab <laughs> an apple. Oh, that's going to be my dinner. I got I got Smokies. I'm going to have Smokies tonight. Ooh. Yeah, let's go. The bear? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Monty's eating Smokey the she bear. We're right here first, folks. Listen. <laughs> I had bear spray. He wouldn't, he wouldn't see him to survive. Like he had no chance. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes, the weakness of all animals, bear spray. You joke. That shit hurted. Did you spray what? yourself with bear no, spray? No, I monkey? did not spray myself with bear spray, but it, it hurts. It's it's I, not pleasant. It's basically pepper that. spray, right? Yeah, it's like no, it, it's, it's beyond spray. pepper spray. It's super pepper spray. Yeah, it's, it's cayenne pepper, pepper spray. spray. Delicious. Just like mom used to make. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it burns so good. <laughs> All right, Connor is here. Are we good to keep going? Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. So as dawn dawns, <clears throat> I would like someone to roll a d20 for me. You're going to need to bring us back to the mappy. Oh, yeah, I should probably do that, shouldn't I? I'll, I'll do it. I am praising the sun for a nine. A nine. It's raining. <laughs> we'll see. Actually, hey, if we can see in front of us, the sun's out. Sorry, I'm just looking for something here. So the poor successful. All right. You rolled a 
he rolled a six, correct? Or nine. 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 All right. So the weather is very pleasant. It's it's a really nice spring day. Uh, could you roll for me another d20, Milo? Okie dokie. And I am 11. 11. I there like these no, middle numbers. <laughs> there is no wind. And one more roll for me. Oh, boy. There is, however, a tornado. No. Shush. Not one. Oh, no. And there is no Here wind. comes the tsunami. It is, a, it is a clear, cloudless, sunny day. Oh, Milo's dancing. I'm so happy. Is it Sunday, Monty? It really is, yeah. And I will move you guys. Occasionally, he's just like go to the church and ask God to forgive you. <laughs> okay. so go it's to the worth, church. It's worth pointing out when you are on a forest tile, uh, you only reveal the tile you moved to because you cannot see through the forest. So, mm. you so guys, we're, we're blind. Basically, oh. as the if you've noticed previous on the map in like open grasslands and mountains, it reveals space based I off see. of your okay. altitude or also how far you can see. So if you're in a forest, you can't see shit because there's trees everywhere. What if, if I burn reveal? down the forest? Can I see? <sighs> you, uh, I was going to suggest climb a tree, Mark, but you know, <laughs> just arson. <ask> <laughs> What is up with you and fire? What is up with us and fire? It's like, set the carriage on fire to make it warm. Set the forest on fire. <laughs> this is the guy who can literally set anything on fire. It's sunlight, damn it. <laughs> the sunlight is made of fire. It you burns. have to concentrate it. <laughs> I don't have a microscope. <laughs> microscope. You need a magnifying glass. We're not <laughs> magnifying glass. Milo, holding a microscope up to the sun to burn. You know, <laughs> his intelligence is ten. It is very average. No, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Fuck this one germ in particular. Is just the energy. Like, <laughs> the ants are fine, but this germ, no. <laughs> The nucleus is the powerhouse of the cell. We'll see. It if out. it makes you feel any better, if it makes you feel any better, I almost said telescope. <laughs> Well, I mean, that would have been better. It's got a bigger <laughs> lens. Be drinking right now. This is dangerous. All right. Don't drink, Monty. I'm being stupid at night. <laughs> As the morning dips into daytime, you guys proceed to walk on the road. It's lack of use becoming more and more apparent as there are parts where it's just the road is just terrible like you can't imagine any sort of cart or beast of burden making its way down uh, but there's a lot of flowers there's a lot of grass uh, the trees themselves appear to be um you know between pine to large oaks to other various types you don't see many birch trees though there seems to be mostly pine and oak trees uh, uh, as you guys mm -hmm. Any any berries or? Ah, uh, you don't see any berries, no. Hmm. Unfortunately. Fruit is hey. dead. Man, anything to save rations as well. Ah, uh, so, everything. You know. There, there are year-round berries like blackberries. Well, they're not here, so sorry. Damn it! <laughs> I tried. Sorry. As I mean, you guys be, proceed yeah. forward, um, is there anything you wish to discuss, or just guys want to keep walking? At any point, if you guys want to stop and role play, you, you can tell me, and I'm I'll step back. Oh boy, how do um, would I? Okay. Milo turns to Eskin. No, I'm not ready. <laughs> Too late. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> so, is Eskin is now an okay time? It's been a couple days. Hmm. He gives you a big smile. <sighs> what exactly do you want to know? I just want to know how you knew how to do that. I don't know. It just came naturally. <sighs> Insight? May I? You can. Okay. I'm kind of good at these. Eleven. Uh, he seems to be truthful. He's not given any signs of lying about it. So you just did it, and you didn't know you could. No, I've, I've done it before, but I don't know. It just it never feels right. Why? It feels like part of me is leaving. How? I, I don't know how else to explain it. That's what it feels like. Something's leaving you. But you're still here. 
Yeah, I know. It's... It's complicated, so... Anytime I try it, it feels like I'm being pulled away somewhere. Somewhere beyond anything I can see. It just feels like... <clears throat> I don't know, like it might rip me away from my body or something. Are you a ghost? No, Gaius, I don't think I'm a ghost. I poke him in the arm. Ow. He's corporeal. <laughs> okay, he's real. Checks out. Good job, Mr. Acne. <laughs> Jake turns around and, like, full beam smile, two thumbs up to his cheeks. <laughs> All right, look, he's kind of won't pray. I just... It's just interesting, that's all. I'll leave it at that. I mean, it's... I don't know. It's not really a secret. I just don't like doing it. <clears throat> I've been able to since I was a kid, and it was always just... I don't know. When I'm scared or when I need to. But like I said, it doesn't feel right. Hmm. Nobody's ever had any answers for you. No doctors. I didn't exactly ask. Who's cursed the arcane? <laughs> I didn't ask. You know, I had... I had a job to do. I did it really well, so... Didn't seem to matter. Sometimes... Hmm. That's all it really takes. You just do. What do you mean? Like, huh, you look at me, right? And it's obvious, you know, what I do. And I find great joy in it. I don't feel like I'm being pulled away, but I'm doing my job. I am doing what I think is my job. Well, my job was always making maps, so not really a lot of call for magic in that kind of thing. But you are still doing it, aren't you? Not if I can avoid it. Well, I hope sometime you can find comfort in it. Yeah, we'll see. Okay. You guys continue walking. The sun begins to fall, creeping through the trees. You see animals. You see, like, the odd deer every now and again that quickly darts. Makes you guys all jump for a moment. And then you see just a bounding white-tailed deer kind of disappear into the woods. Mm -hmm. You're able to find like some ponds for water and puddles, but they're not. It's no no water. I don't think you would want to drink that. I I can make it drinkable yeah, easily. If you would like to, yeah. yeah. I mean, all water is drinkable. Make it a drink. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we we got time. I'm just gonna ritual thirsty. What drink? <laughs> <laughs> ritual cast purify food and drink as needed. All right. <laughs> you guys, drink your water skin for this day, and you're able to scoop up some puddle um, water with the bucket, purify it, and nothing it big enough to house fish, correct? No, there is. Okay. It is a very dense forest. So, if there's any bodies of water, they're they're unfortunately going to be completely consumed by the roots here. Okay. Consumed yeah, it's a very root. dense forest. Dude, we can make root beer. <laughs> but I'm um, Tish. Jesus. Thank you. All right. As night takes you once again. Night comes, and as you all keep your watch, it's just those distant howls shifting and moving, almost like a tide of death. Hmm. Uh, but dawn occurs. Crazy. And in the wake in the next day, who would like to do the three D20 rolls? Here. Here I go. Here's the key. Don't forget to take another ration, everybody. Yeah, 13, another rations. 13, 19, 8. All right, 13. <clears throat> did I really? Oh my god, I did. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> I closed something. All right. Again, pleasant temperature. Um, but there is a bit of a strong wind that rustles the trees as you guys walk through. It's just kind of a gusty, puffy spring wind. Mark, you better not science me on this shit. I didn't I say anything. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I'm saying it ahead of time because... I mean, it just means a front is on the way in or out. That's all. I'm pointing at you. <laughs> <laughs> if it was on its way out, wouldn't that make it up behind? I hate you. <laughs> um, I hate above, you in the way that you've wounded science. <laughs> above game, does anybody want to try and hunt? Yeah. Mm, mm. I, could. I would much rather try and do some sort of gathering to try and find... Um, any sort of fruit or vegetable or nut or something like that. I mean, big likewise. I'd like to forage. Okay. Like, everyone to roll survival checks, then. Let's okay. go. Um, is this one of those over over the time overtime checks? Yeah, this would be basically as you guys are walking. Mm -hmm. Found worms. Don't worry, gang. I found worms. Guy has found a rock. I could work with that. 17. Okay. 19. Nice. 14. Uh, between the five of you, you managed to catch two rabbits. Ooh. Uh, Berries-wise, you do find um, what appears to be some berries. Um, and I would say with the survival checks, Otho, you're able to determine that they're not poisonous. These are good. Uh, but the meat is good, and you have some vegetables. But as you guys are kind of gathering yourselves, you do hear something in the distance. Ah, uh, kind of like these shouts off in the distance. That sounds like fighting. Or at least people. So I we go see. I'm going to go see. Who wants to join me? I will join. <laughs> Let's go. S stick together. All right. As you guys kind of run ahead, you make your way into the forest and you can hear now the shouts getting yeller, like, come on now, come on! And you hear snarling. <laughs> and like howling and whimpering and biting and snapping. Oh, shit. As you see a man currently surrounded by wolves. He's real! He's real! Oh, oh no! Oh, yeah! It's, oh, it's he's man. real! It's the man! Let's go! And I will say, if you guys run in on the seeds, stowing away your food, I'd like everybody to roll initiative for me, please. Oh, let's oh, fucking go! Yeah. No. Yes! Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, God damn it! Four! Natural 20! Hey, nice. Watch me still go third. <laughs> Shut up, Mark. <laughs> uh, soft 20. 21. See? <laughs> You're still going first. It's a natural 20, you dip. <laughs> And I'm going right. last again. And I will reveal to you what this man looks like. Where's my goddamn I'll dragonator? I'll reveal it after the fight. I will reveal it oh. after the fight. Yes, yes. Oh, no. Oh, please, please, let, let the dragonator memes continue for just a little bit longer. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Ooh, these are really good initiatives. So East Scan with the Dragonator automatically so goes first. Okay. I want everyone to know I made a picture of Gaius like pointing and I said, when you roll that one on the fucking initiative roll, <laughs> and then there's guys just like pointing with a smile, like you. <laughs> That's me right now, unfortunately. Gaius, and then we have Milo at the bottom. Again, That's welcome. Fine. Well, you got you've gone from rogue initiative to the 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 legendary cleric initiative. Yeah, but <sighs> <laughs> three out of the five of us have no have no dex bonus, so eh. <laughs> Where we're going, we don't need decks. Welcome to my world, child. <laughs> Chainmail's really heavy. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. All right. The man you see currently is bleeding. Uh, it looks like he's been bit on like the wrist, and he currently has two swords out at the moment, two short swords Shit. on either side. Oh, shit. And you can see him like kind of hear you coming, and he kind of goes. I'd rather if you didn't rob me right now. <laughs> We're here to help. Sorry. Great. All right. You scanned it. It's now your turn as combat begins. Uh, point of order. 
Uh, are these mm -hmm. obviously the cursed wolves? Oh, all the wolves here are cursed. You know that with that right. 20 history check. All the given, cursed wolves. Given that history check, has there ever been any story of anyone being able to calm the wolves or, no. or convince them to go away? Absolutely not, no. Cool. They do all psychic right. damage, don't they? If you attempt to do speak with animals, I will say this with the history check. If you attempt to use speak with animals on the wolves, you take psychic damage, yes. What about animal friendship? That does not work. They have a unique trait to them where they cannot gotcha. be pacified by magical means. You can't pet the dog, Mark. I just want to pet These the dog. These are wolves, not dogs. <laughs> They're just big dogs. Uh, okay. Um, I'm checking range. Yes. Uh, the wolf that is north of our new friendo um, is about to potentially get a boomerang. Okay, you got it. You throw the boomerang. 18. I say. It's that wolf. One damage, baby. Nice. As it goes to leap into the air to like attack this guy, you watch as his position turns, but the boomerang snaps into the wolf's mouth and it kind of crashes to the ground and slides, snarling, as it takes one point of bludgeoning damage. Don't do that. Stop it. And also, I'm going to hide Bosco, behind guys. Bosco, can I ask for a favor? Hmm. Bosco, can you make a wolf noise? Yes. You're better at it than me. What do you want me to make? What is he doing? A wolf, a wolf, a wolf noise? Like wolf growling. <laughs> is that better? Thank you so much. Thank you. So it sounded like a, a bull in distress. Can you give me more wolf? <laughs> there we go. Perfect. That was good. Holy that shit. That was really good. Uh, Mark hit it a is now the stranger's turn. The stranger is going to charge the wolf that has slipped to the ground and is going to swing twice with his... Short swords. Really That's a miss. He swings and misses. Second I, swing misses as well. Up. I lined yeah. it up perfectly for you, man. I know. He rolled a two and a four as he swings once and swings again. The wolf dodges twice. Well, maybe if he wasn't wearing that blindfold, it would probably be <laughs> a bit better. Uh, he forgot to take blind fight. That's what um, it is. Um, uh, that ends his turn. Kai, it is now your turn. What do you do? Um, does Otho look like he's going to charge in because I know his fighting style? Uh, he, in this situation, he looks like he's reaching for his bow, actually. <clears throat> oh, um, well, that's not going to work then. Uh, all right. Which does he, which one would you say you were aiming at? If he can see which one you're pointing at the one that the mystery man just engaged Got it. Okay. Uh, that's not good. <sighs> I want to see how this plays. I'm going to full defense where I am. Okay. So I'll you got it. You kind of see the scene. You kind of scan the scene and you don't really know what to do. All righty. That is Kai's turn. Otho, it is now your turn. All right. I'm going to, uh, going to prepare an arrow and I'm going to, uh, fire it at this wolf. That the man has engaged. Okay, I will say this. There is another wolf in your way. If I could reposition myself, could yeah. I? Yes, you absolutely can. You can go under the bows of that tree as well, so you're good. But you're going to have yeah. to reposition her, so we'll get a, a cover bonus, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll just move up 10 feet, and then I'll let it fly. You got it. Who would have a 14? 14 hits. Go ahead and roll damage. All right, that is going to be. Oh, that damn. Nine hurts. piercing, six sneak attack for 15 damage total. I will oh, say geez. since you announced your intention, he does count with, as an ally, so you do get your sneak attack on that. And as you let loose the arrow, you strike right through the wolf's head and it slides across the ground dead. Damn. <sighs> and you watch as the man kind of turns and goes, that sounded like a good shot, and he swings around to face the other wolves. Oh my god, he is blind. <laughs> oh my fucking god, he is blind. Can, can I just say, though, I love the idea of him, like, just turning towards the direction of the sound and being like, that sounded good. <laughs> <laughs> we have to help this poor man. He's defenseless. He's blinking. It's blinking <laughs> from Robin Hood men in tights. Oh, god. All right, that brings us to the end. Is that end your turn, Otho? Um, yes, yes, yes. 
Alrighty, that brings it to the wolf's turn. This wolf immediately jumps and goes to attack him. Surprisingly, he seems to swing defensively as the wolf approaches him, so he seems to have pretty good reactions. Uh, that is going to be... Where's my bonus? There it is. Uh, which misses. As the wolf kind of like goes and tries to pounce on top of his shoulder and bite into his shoulder, he kind of grabs the wolf with his like with both of his swords and his arms and kind of slams the wolf to the ground. This wolf immediately charges you, Milo. Oh, ho, ho, does he now? It so kind of like it, it does that animal thing where it kind of bounds like back and forth, like kind of like like does a zigzag and then eventually reaches you and then leaps into the air. Cool. With my reaction, I use my warding flare. You got I it. Bring up, I bring up my shield. The holy symbol sparks out. Odin protects me. And a blinding flash of light gets in this wolf's eyes. Good thing it had disadvantage. Roll the crit. Uh, that would have been a crit. Yep. Uh, instead, it is going to be a still a really good roll, a 19 to hit. Yeah, that will hit. That'll, that'll hit. All right. As you blind the wolf, it does manage to land its jaws into your shoulder as you take. Uh, that's gonna be five points of piercing damage to your shoulder blade. Ooh, that's half my health, kids. Uh, ooh, does it want to go for the weak target or does it want to go for the new target? I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip a coin. Uh, cause I think you guys are both. Yep. Oh, yeah, actually, you're closer. It's gonna go for you. Gaius, this wolf immediately turns and immediately charges towards you. You can see as its mouth is open, there's just saliva spraying everywhere and its eyes just have this fervent anger in them. You've never seen it in animals before. Uh, it leaps up into the air, and that is going to be a 13 to hit you. I grab it by the snout and throw it back on the floor. Yeah, you grab it and you kind of wrestle it to the ground and kick it back. The last wolf. Uh, yeah, it's going to go for him. It's going to pack tactics him. Uh, that is going to be a 15 to hit, which misses. It just misses. As this other wolf comes by, he swings his sword and kind of blocks it, but he's currently being surrounded in court. He is in a precarious <clears throat> position. That ends the wolf's turn. It is now Gaius. It is now your turn. Shit. <coughs> uh. All right, well... The wolf that just attacked me, I'm gonna just fucking flat out ignore. Go ahead and roll the hit. Okay. Uh <laughs> I'm never hiding behind any of you ever again. <laughs> uh, that is a that is a twenty-one to hit, unfortunately. Yeah, that hits. Sorry. They rolled it they rolled really well. Tis uh, worst. Damage was pretty garbage though. Uh that is gonna be four points of damage to you. Okay. As it bites at your heel, it takes off a chunk of fur. You manage to flank around this wolf currently that has Milo in its jaws. It's like doing the dog thing where like the jaws are in the shoulder and it's like shaking its head. All right. Uh, this is not an honorable fight, so the battle axe is coming out. All right. As I as it looks like I'm going for the elbow strike, I spin midair, grab the axe, and slam down on top of this thing. Fuck me. It. That's an eight. No, it's eight. Wait, that's ten. Ten. Ten still misses, unfortunately. As you go to swing, the wolf kind of like lets go of Milo and dashes away. Uh, Milo, actually, I forgot. Oh, I need oh, you to make a. I need you to make a uh, strength saving throw for me, actually, because of the bite attack on you. Oh boy! Natural twenty. Okay. Woo! Totally fine. Totally fine. What was the so sensation? Hmm. What's the sensation? Uh, your your shoulder is is hurt, but it's you know it's an animal bite. It hurts. Okay. 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 Uh, for my bonus action, uh, competing athletics check. You got it. Beat a seventeen. Uh, athletics check. Actually, would that would this count as a nineteen? Because I'm flanking. Uh, no, that is only for attacks. Okay. It's not for checks. Uh, it it also rolled a seventeen, but you meet, so you beat, so you have it grappled. Aggressor wins. I fuck. I missed it with the axe, but then I like snag my arm back up and I fucking choke lock it with one arm. All right, it's like gnashing its teeth and kind of like doing a squirm like a dog you're trying to like you know put into a bath or something. Like it's just like shaking and violently kicking. It is putting up a proper fight. 
That's turn. Is that your turn. That's your turn, Gaius. All right, Milo, it is now your turn. As your shoulder is now kind of touch your shoulder, you can see blood on your hand, your hands. Oh, gonna feel that one later. Um, <laughs> and it's restrained. It it's is grappled. Kind of grappled. So its movement grappled. is zero, and it has, um, I believe, uh, nothing it else. It has disadvantage there. to attack. That's right. Yeah, it is. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. Boy, oh boy, do I want to be... Ugh. Uh, you know what? I'm going to be safe. I'm just going to... um. I'm going to go ahead and disengage. Okay, you got it. You disengage. <laughs> the wolf's teeth, like, snap at you as you manage to duck away and you disengage, making your way behind Otho, who is, I assume, knocking another arrow, potentially, in his... No, he is not! <laughs> 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 I'm, I have options that I'm considering. All right. Okay. All right. That's that's me. All right. Top of the turn of Torter. Gaius has run away from you, Eskan, and you are now in front of a wolf that is currently bearing its feet. Like it, it like sees where Gaius goes, and then slowly the eyes turn and stare at you as it kind of the nose gets all wrinkly and the bears the teeth towards you. I'm looking back and forth between Gaius, who looks like he got hit pretty hard but he's currently wrestling a wolf and seems to have the upper hand. And the wolf that's baring its teeth towards me, seeing Kai behind me, I'm going to reach a hand back onto his shoulder. Just help me out here for a moment. And I'm going to use him to stabilize myself as I hold a hand up in the direction of the wolf. I'm going to squint my eyes really hard and really concentrate. Kai, you'll feel his grip on your shoulder tense just a little bit. Uh, and I'm going to cast Ice Knife at the wolf. You got it. That hits the wolf. Go ahead and roll damage. Uh, it is do, 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 D10 damage. Oh, no, that didn't do it. Hang on, hang on, hang on. D10. You can click the name and roll 20 as well. It yeah, click Ice Knife. It wasn't, it wasn't highlighting. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Two damage and then five uh, cold damage. Does that have to make a saving throw or is that just for the additional effect? I can't remember. Uh, this that is. Do, 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 make a ranged uh, attack. On a hit, the target takes 1d10 piercing damage. Hit or miss, the shard then explodes. The target and each creature within five feet of it must succeed on a dexterity saving throw or take 2d6 cold damage. So he does take the two piercing and then he needs to beat a 14 dex save. Uh, he got a six. So he's taking uh, seven points of damage total as the ice knife strikes the wolf in the, in the shoulder and then it like shakes its head and then it bursts and the wolf kind of staggers onto its side and it is looking rough but it is like it gets back up and it just growls towards you angrily after the cast uh he is definitely breathing very heavily and he you can uh kai you can tell he sort of wobbles on his feet for a moment but using his grip on your shoulder he steadies himself and that'll be my turn all righty that brings us to the stranger's turn uh, he kind of pushes back one of the wolves. Come on, please hit. Okay, that's good. Thank God. Uh, plus three. One. Sorry, I'm going to try and do this as quickly as possible. You watch him slash the one wolf that is currently to his left, and he swings at it a second time. That's a natural 20. That's really good. Yay! Yay. Yay. There we go. There we go. All right. Plus. Uh, yep, that kills it. You watch as he just takes his sword and just cuts off the wolf's head, and it lies on the ground dead. <laughs> and as he's, like, fighting and can hear you guys fighting, he goes, I, I got one! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks again! And uh, that ends his turn. Kai, it is now your turn. Uh, Eskin, do you look like you're in a bad enough place where you can barely stand without him standing right next to you? Uh, no, you can tell that after, uh, the settling of the cast, he's kind of stabilizing himself again. He it mostly looked like he just used you so he didn't fall over while he was doing it. Uh, he's going to try to grab your wrist and tug you away from the wolf if you'll come with him. Uh, if Monty will allow it, I'll allow it. Yeah, you can move. You can you can drag him back uh, half your speed. So, uh, I'm gonna drag him back. God, if I dash, can I pull him out of the way of that wolf and go full a full thirty? Uh, you cannot leave the combat space. Can I at least get it? Because if I'm betting, this thing would have to dash to get more than thirty feet to him. So I just want to get all the way back here. 
Wouldn't right. it be a smarter idea to pull us towards our companions? I mean, we can go that way, but he's panicked, so he's not thinking straight. Who's panicked? Kai. <laughs> he's just trying to drag oh, you away gotcha. from the wolf. He's not thinking strategy. Gotcha. I thought you were talking about the wolf for a second, and I was no. like, I didn't know the wolf is panicked. <laughs> this is the worst day of Boy Scouts for Kai. <laughs> <laughs> no one told me I'd be getting the cursed wolf I'm, merit badge. The, the fucking that'll, be, uh, that'll be turn. Hey. Alrighty, Otho, it is now your turn as you see this wolf that currently is just taking a chunk out of Gaius. It has like purple fur in its mouth and it's currently getting up as the ice is like breaking away from its body. What do you do? Uh, I see that uh, Kai is dragging away Iskan. Uh, I look over and I, I check my surroundings and I see that uh, Gaius has left an opening for me, so I'm going to run over uh, my saber hissing as it leaves the scabbard, and I'm going to try and slice at this thing. You got it. Uh, 16? 16 hits. Go and roll damage. Plus seek attack. Ew! Uh, oh. that is going to be 15 slashing damage. You Fuck run yeah. up as this wolf is currently, like, being held by Gaius. It, you have a free opening right in the rib cage. You drive it in. Yo, also, I, I I lift up the fucking I lift up the fucking uh, wolf for a double leg takedown. Where do you go from there? Um, as you as you lift it up, I'll just do the do what I've been trained to go for, and I'll just uh with great ease slide the blade across this thing's throat. You watch as a spurt of blood rushes out and the body slumps to the ground, motionless. Fuck yeah. <sighs> Alrighty. And also, I does that end your turn? Seeing that Kai is... is you're, you're obviously uh, panicked right now, right? Yes. Okay. I'm going to... I'm going to step forward and I'm going to flick the blood off of my saber and stand in front of this wolf. And I'll, I'll, my lips will peel away from, or my teeth. And I'll say, you, you will stay away from my brother. As hair will begin to grow from my beard and envelop my face, I'll get a few inches taller and my muscles will bulge out and my face will become a more feline form as I shift into a white tiger. Good All shit, righty. Connor. Let's Yay. fucking go. All right. You are now shifted into your white tiger form. Come on, then. The wolf re re replies with the growl of its own and it's all snarl as it bears its own fangs. And it is now the wolf's turn. The wolf immediately charges you, leaping into the air. Uh, which misses with a 10, as it, I assume a 10 misses, though. Yes. All right. As it leaps into the air, I imagine you grab it with your hands and kind of stop its jaw and wrench it to the ground as it is unable to find purchase in your flesh. This wolf here is going to attack the stranger. Uh, that definitely hits. That is a soft 20 <clears throat> from the wolf. Stop. He's already wounded, so this could be quite bad. Cut it out, man! <laughs> Please? Oh, yeah. This wolf leaps onto his, like, grabs onto his arm and kind of brings him down and then shifts the attention to his neck. And you watch as the man trying to hold the wolf back as it bites into his neck. And you hear, ah! Let out a scream as he is looking terrible. That ends the wolf's turn. Gaius, it is now your turn. Ooh, hearing that, that ends, uh, that answers my question. I'm gonna mirthful leap my ass over here, and if I can't get the extra five, I'm gonna end my turn there. So, let me roll a 1d8. You got it. Oh. Nope, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine, because my strength plus one equals five. I can move right here. Hey, there Let's we go. go. Da, 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 you just like run and then boing and then land on the ground, kind of sliding and kicking up some of the loose dirt. 
What martial arts moves can I fucking do on this piece of shit? It's a wolf, so, you know. Punch, Drop kick. kick. It's all the same. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Well, can't, I kind of like slide you. across. I slide across the grass. I, I don't fucking stick the landing. It, I made it, but it looked like shit. So I'll use my momentum to hoist my arm up and take the axe down on top of its spine. You got it. You're flanking. So you have plus two. Oh my god Ooh. damn it, ten! Unfortunately, as you go to swing, the wolf dodges out of the way and snarls, kind of weaving away from your axe. Fine. Almost surreally. Fine, you little shit. As a bonus action, I'm gonna grapple this fucker. Oh god! Nine. Just to double check, Mirthful Leap isn't a bonus action? No, it's not. Okay. Yeah, it's part of the movement action, I believe. Gotcha. Uh, unfortunately, it rolled an 18. So as you try to Ooh. grab it, you just get a fistful of wolf hair, black wolf hair, as unfortunately you're shit. able to grapple it, and it kind of turns and snarls towards you, and you see the man kind of go to a knee and goes, ah, okay, all right. <laughs> oh, you're a, you jump a lot, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the man, the man kind of cocks his head like, Okay, not quite the response I was expecting, but cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, that your turn? That's turn. As long as I got this fucker to turn and face me, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Milo, it is now your turn. All right, let's move. Uh, actually, hang on a second. I need to check range. Oh, pfft. okay, never mind. Um, Hang on, I gotta zoom out here. I Oh fuck! That's actually right. Oh, I yeah, I'm, good. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I just did the math. I technically, I technically move at forty speed if I use mirthful leap every time. Because even if I roll a one, I get to add my four to it. Yeah. Yeah. So I technically always have forty. You feet. should just be jumping all over the place. Right? <laughs> You're a good. Why even walk? Right? All right. Milo extends his right hand, light coalescing off of the holy emblem and into his fingers as a uh, bolt of light leaps out. Gainbolt, the uh, one that's assailing this stranger who is you in got deep it. pain. Ha! 18. 18 hits, going to roll damage. Kiop. Oh, Ooh, 11. So very dead. You know, like in. Um, <laughs> um, G mod when like a body slides across the ground after being hit by something. <laughs> that is what happens when this thing gets blasted with a guiding bolt. It like slides across the ground, leaving like a crater in its wake as it, it slumps over to the side dead. Cool. I will. The stranger like kind of like stands there for a moment and goes, That wasn't an arrow. <laughs> uh, I'll move forward and yelling out to the men, Don't worry, I can help you. And that will I be feel like you already have, but thank you. Alrighty. Top of the turn order. Eastkin, it is now your turn. Uh, Eastkin sort of shakes his arm free from Kai. Kai, what are you doing? We have to help your brother. And he'll break free of your grasp and move next to Otho. I'm going to whack him with my stick. Not Otho, the wolf. I'm going to whack the wolf yeah. with my stick. Oh, whack the werewolf! Right her. Right her. We have to help your brother by taking him out. <laughs> 19 to hit, baby. That absolutely hits. Hurt. Wow. What? What the fuck? I did zero damage. <laughs> yeah, sure did. How? Minus one. It's, it's the thought that counts, baby. Oh, no. You clonk the wolf on the head, but do no damage to it as it, like, kind of, like, shakes its head and kind of blinks a few times and snarls at you. It's one of those things where he swings with all of his might to hit the stick. Obviously, he's still a little winded from the magic that he did. And so as it connects and does basically nothing, he kind of just goes, You know ah. what? <laughs> I... I'm gonna just let you have one damage. I feel like at <laughs> minimum, maybe one damage is fair. Um, okay. We'll we'll rule it later in case it is meant to be zero damage. But for now, I'm gonna let you do one damage to this wolf. Okay. Yeah. YouTube comments, please don't. <laughs> Shush. <laughs> Listen. You can't give. You can't right. let me have a moment like that end with zero damage. <laughs> <laughs> That's my Alrighty. turn. That is your turn, Eastken. All right, that brings us to the stranger's turn. Uh, and Strange. he is going to listen, and he knows where that wolf is. Uh, and he can only get so far as he charges. Uh, but he will, you know what? He's going he's gonna to flank. He's going to use his dash action. He's going to flank. 
And that will end his turn. Kai, it is now your turn. What do you do? Uh, is the uh, is the long rounded tail sort of flicks behind him now? Uh, I said Kai. Hmm. Oh. Kai's turn, not your turn. I'll I was wait. gonna I was gonna let him have it, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll take your turn. I was gonna say, yeah, you might as well at this point. Uh, so Eskin, having said that, Kai's gonna look down at his hands and look back at the wolves, and in a panic, he's just gonna say, "Oto!" And he's going to charge think- forward. Oh. Uh, he'll get there, and he's going to take the help action. He's going to kick this wolf in the balls. You got it. <laughs> he's just going to will- punt him, and as the thing turns to him, he's like, okay, now, brother, please. <laughs> All righty, Otho, it is now your turn, and you have the help action, so your next attack has an advantage. <laughs> I love how stunned you are in this moment. Right. <laughs> Grapes, Kai, really? I'm, I'm the, I'm the, I'm the were tiger in this. <laughs> Glad you're back at least. And then there's you. <laughs> and I'll uh, slash at it with my saber. Now with you advantage. got it. With advantage, because it's currently reeling. It's like the art legs are kind of sticking yeah. in slightly. And it's, flanking, it's howling at a higher octave. And flanking, yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, uh, oh, roll again, just in case of a crit. Yep. Yeah. Uh, 22. Okay. 24. 22 hits. 24, yeah, technically hits, yeah. Beep. Oh, yep, that's going to be 13 Beep. slashing damage. You drive the saber and slash the wolf as it turns I to leap it, it high. You misery. bring it down. <laughs> yeah. And it is dead. And the battlefield is still. <sighs> oh, is everybody all right? Is anybody hurt? <sighs> uh, I, I would be hurt, yeah. Immediately, Milo will put his hands on his arm uh, and he shall heal. Six, uh, six uh, health. Yeah, as you kind of heal him, he goes, thank you so much. That'll, that'll get me through the day. Ah. No worries. It, uh, oh, these things did a number on me, too. And as the fi- battle is finally subsided, you see this man. Oh, boy. Boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh, boyest of boys. Yo! Oh, shit. Damn. <laughs> Buff McLarge huge over here. <laughs> <sighs> what does this man look like? Uh, you see an uh, older guy, older gentleman. Um, he is wearing a kind of like a leather armor with kind of little little accents of metal. Um, he's got kind of these large kind of fur boots. Notably uh, over his eyes is this kind of blue ribbon that kind of ties hard behind the back, covering his eyes. Um, and you watch as he sheaths both of his swords, just shooting these two short swords on his back. And he has this long kind of blue cape. Uh, he's an older guy. Definitely has some scars, but seems very, very, very fit for sure. <sighs> uh, thank you so much. I didn't expect help this uh, this far uh, to the to the west. What were you doing out here with all these wolves by yourself? Oh, hunting, of course. You watch as he begins to drag the bodies, and you watch as he kind of pushes the wolves over, and he goes, "How many did you kill?" Did you keep a count? Uh, one, two, three, three. Four, five. You guys killed three, and I killed at least two. So I take two, you take the rest. How's that fair? Uh, looks back and forth. Uh, I, I guess. Are you not from Hearthland? No. Oh, okay. Um,. There's an open season on these wolves. The royal family has put a bounty on them. Uh, wolves about... And he kind of watches his hands, kind of traces over the wolves. Wolves about this size, probably two gold pieces per head. So, you know. Guys, his ears kind of, like, move up two inches. I look to the others, like, take him, take him up on it. <laughs> yep, 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 all yep. Right, yep. All right, all right. All right, so two for me, the rest for you. Uh, I would look away, too. That pair, I've been told this isn't very pretty. And you watch as he takes his sword out and just hacks off the head of the wolf and kind of grabs it, and he pulls out a sack and kind of starts loading 
the head into the sacks. So Mr. I, Mr. Agni, I believe this is up your alley. Oh, is it? Just fucking, like, zoom cats his way over to a body. <laughs> just starts <laughs> hacking heads off. Mm -hmm. Each wolf head is about four pounds, so just keep that in mind. <gasps> so that's... Wait, actually, that's three. We get three, he gets three. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. I'm going to check the one next to me um, and would like to attempt to... Uh, where is it? To gather some uh, bits and bobbles. Okay. Go ahead and roll a survival check. Where the heck is... Make a crossbow from its spine. <laughs> this is a... <laughs> uh, doo -doo -doo. Where is it? What are you looking for? The, the, the trait that I have that lets me do this. Oh, yeah, the lizard bug thing. What the heck is it? While you're doing that, the man will turn. He'll go. Um, so you're not from Hearthland? New here? Uh, yes, we're uh, uh, travelers. We're headed to Acorn. Acorn. I've headed. You watch as he kind of lifts up a finger and kind of like holds it up to the air and he goes, South. South. That's south. Yeah, so it's the south of here, I believe. If I didn't go off course, which I shouldn't have. Uh, you're not too far from it, actually. I'd say uh, you probably have, and he kind of stands up, about a couple days in uh, that direction. He watches, he lifts his hand and points in a direction, which is where the road was going. And then mm -hmm. you'll probably turn down south, but I imagine the road will probably turn down that way. I came from the north. I came from a, a hamlet up there. Uh, by the way, that was an 18 on my survival check. Okay. Uh, you can easily get the pelts from all these wolves as well. Uh, as you like, as he hears you carving, the man kind of goes, "Oh, uh, pelts are good. Don't eat the meat, though." Well, yeah, I figured that part was obvious. Uh, mm -hmm. Sir, what is your name? I'm called the Outsider. Ooh. That's what but you're you called, but is me. that your name? No, but it's what I'm called. What about you? What's your I name? Uh, Milo Brightbeam. Milo Brightbeam. You're a shorter fellow. You see, like, you can see he can't see. <laughs> and, like, he hears your voice and he goes, I'm going to guess. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Not dwarf. I'm going to I'm going to grab his hand and just plop it on my head. <laughs> Halfling. I was going to guess, but you... Damn it. <laughs> he, he, he feels the, the head nodding up and down. Um, what about uh, uh, the one over there? Kind of points towards generally where Otho is. You got real loud and snarly. Should I be worried about you? Uh, no. Um, I'll be fine. Just And he'll... Uh, after uh, um, about a minute goes by, he'll... Uh, shrink a few inches and uh, he'll become the Otho that we uh, all know and love and he'll put his glasses back on. <clears throat> uh, apologies, my name is Otho. Pleasure to meet you, Otho. We have Otho, Milo, any other O names I should know? Gaius is right behind him with like the three heads slung over his shoulder. You notice as he actually, despite you not making too much noise, he does turn and kind of acknowledges you. He doesn't acknowledge you in the face, but he does seem to know that you're there, which is really weird. Ah, oh, right, you. Thank you so much for coming to my aid. I appreciate it quite a bit. Guys, nice uh, mentioned that you're highly perceptive. Oh, yes. I mean, in some ways, in other ways, uh, I am not. But, well, experience, above all else, tends to provide... Um, Skills more than anything. It is not. Well, I must. Well, despite, uh, despite all uh, what you say, it's actually impressive how you were able to handle such finesse with your weapon like that. Especially with the uh, he like waves his hand over his eyes, but then realizes, oh right, despite obvious circumstances. Well, you learn to perceive things a little bit differently. You know, find loopholes. 
Unfortunately, though, I don't do well when I get surrounded like that. I was alerted by the hamlet to the north that there were quite a few wolves in this wood in particular, and given the high price of a wolf head every now and again, I couldn't help but leap on the opportunity. Unfortunately, the opportunity leaped back, so I definitely appreciate your assistance. Hi. Gaius Agni. He, like, holds his hand out. Very nice to meet you, Gaius Agni. And you notice that he doesn't shake your hand because he can't fucking see it. Right, <laughs> Gaius, like, just, like, instead, like, does, like, a, a little, like, mid-high five and, like, grabs his hand. What? What, am I, what are we doing? And he shakes it. Oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> he shakes your hand and kind of laughs. Uh, my bad. Does he, Matt, does he understand my strength? Just a general strength check. Okay. Guys actually wanted to gauge his strength, so that's why I'm like, I want to roll a strength check. 14. Okay, 14. He's pretty strong. Um, probably not not weak by any means. He definitely seems to be a bit more dexterous, but like for the most part, he is also quite strong. He's physically strong. But he, he's it's a gentle, nice, polite like handshake. Mm-hmm. It's nothing mean about it. It's it's very friendly, so. Yeah, he also doesn't seem like he does it very often, so he's like, all right, cool, we're doing this. Right on. He kind of crosses well. his arms and he goes, so um, you're heading to Acorn, huh? Yes. Huh. If you head uh, south from Acorn, you can hit a, I believe there's a town called Trist there. It's a training town. If you take the wolf heads there, you can trade them in for your bounty. Most town lords will know the exchange. Mm, splendid. You might have... And also, I want to thank you for at least finding me some sort of job I can possibly take once all this is done. Yeah, it makes for good extra coin. I need it for something. Yeah, assuming <laughs> you don't die trying to collect it. That's why you That's why you punch first. Exactly, yep. You got the drop on them first. At least it wasn't at nighttime, I'll say that much. When it's nighttime, it's... For the people like you, no offense, it can be quite difficult with the black fur and all, so... But, uh, sorry, I haven't seen anybody in a while. Where are you from? <laughs> and we all just vanish in a puff of smoke. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You watch, from, you watch just one of you say anything and, like, oh, the I, I, I didn't get to say stuff. I was going to say yeah, something. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. There's just some hesitation. I want to take advantage of it, but go ahead. Well, did you want to start? No, no, you, no you go ahead. You, you go, go ahead. ahead. You go ahead. I'll, I'll follow okay. up. I'm from around the Heartlands. A little bit outside of it, but near it, all the same. Ah, I see. So you know these forests rather well, then. Mm, for the most part, I've traveled through here. He kind of nods at that. I'm uh, I'm from a, a bit far from here. Uh, Middlefield, actually. Oh, Middlefield. I've been around there before. To the south of it, mostly. To the south. Yeah, Ironkind, the Dwarven Kingdom, kind of in the same area. <gasps> right, but I heard something terrible happened there. Well, not an Ironkind, but to the uh, to the west of Ironkind, yeah. Oh, all right. There w- huh. Yeah, I heard there was a volcanic eruption or something along those lines. Miles' eyes widen a little bit. And he just kind of nods. It'll just turn. Again, that's that's what I've heard at taverns in Ironkind. I wouldn't... He kind of, like, kind of thinks for a moment. He goes, I wouldn't have seen it myself. And he kind of gives this big, cheeky smile. Uh, By the way, as all of this is being discussed, Iskin transitioned from the wolf pelts to pulling out notes because he's... He starts hearing location, and he's like, oh, okay. (laughs) Uh, Me, I'm from uh, to the northwest. Uh, You can call me Iskan, by the way. Nice to meet you, Iskan. You're, the way you talk, uh, you're not a dragonborn, I don't think, are you? No. I'm going to say the lizard folk if you're from that region. Yeah. 
You sound short enough that I don't have to worry about you, do I? He smiles. He kind of cocks his head at that. I'm pretty tall, actually, but okay. Hmm. <clears throat> you should see him eat a chicken. And what uh, about the, uh, the shy one? The one that uh, kicked the wolf in the balls. Uh, Kai looks to you, Otho, and he puts his finger over his lip like, shh. And then he points to his ears like, if I say nothing, he can't hear me. <laughs> he already knows you're here. I already know you're there. I don't think he does. <laughs> he do. already knows you're here. Uh, <laughs> if you just talk, uh, Monty, Monty, what would be a random town uh, down south? That uh, I would know. You wouldn't know because you're not from her. You've never been in Hearthland before. B very I south. Uh, well, they, they they call you the outsider, so I guess you can call me the wanderer. The wanderer. <laughs> call him the wanderer. Lofty title. Is that what people call you? It's what people call me. I tell you guys was about to say something. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna be like, I do. Around, around, around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, in terms of southern locations, I I mean, you don't know. You've never been in Hearthland. Um, and like this gentleman already mentioned, there is a town that's Triss, which is to the south. Um, beyond that, you're not sure where this border leads. You've never been out this far, so I'm As shrugging. Tra travelers from the far south. Far south, so from far south from here would probably be... With all due respect, we're nothing from nowhere and no one at all, so it's not really important. Are you... Criminals? Sure, no. we'll go with that. No, 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 no. Oh, <laughs> by the sun, no. <laughs> he just starts laughing his ass off. No, no, you're not criminals. I can tell you're not. But it seems like you have something private that you're doing, so I won't pry. But you're not going to go murdering anyone now, are you? Not unless they're a wolf. Hmm. I, hope, I hope not. There's no fun sport in, in that. Your head's on your shoulders. If you ever need me, I'll be around. I tend to travel quite far and wide, but um, would there be a place best to meet you? I do owe you, after all, for you saving my life. Well, I feel like um, a favor in kind only seems fair. Do you want to come with us, then? I, uh, he kind of lobs up and holds up the big bag, and he goes, I kind of want to trade these in, personally. I could meet you in Acorn later, though, if you wish. Well, you need to get to Trist, right? No, I'm heading, I'm heading north. Oh. To where? Gunder. It's a little hamlet. It's a little farming hamlet. Well, if he, give, he gives us our time to get what we need done, I don't see why we can't meet him again in Acorn. I agree. Right, I'll swing eight. by, and if you're not there, then I'll just go about my business. Fair enough, you sir. You may find us out and about. We are not, we don't have any roots. That's a shame. Neither do I, though. But I can understand the wandering life. And you watch this. He doesn't really look towards you, Kai, but you, you get the sense. You get the feeling of a wink. Hmm. Well, <sighs> He kind of lugs the, the sack over his shoulders and goes, Safe travels, and uh, beware of the eyes in the dark. He begins to kick off deeper into the woods. Yeah, Ooh. you too. Stay safe. Huh. And he disappears. What a fella. Is everyone all right? Nothing, I'm... uh, nothing some sleep and get rid of air on the wool, but I'm sure some rest will do me good. I'm just a little confused. And Iskin kind of looks towards Kai. What was that all about? What? You just, you've never been that rude before. Yeah, well, I didn't trust him. I'm sorry. Did you see something we didn't? I've... Mm. 
I've just seen people like him before, the mercenary type, and I just... I don't trust them. The less information you give them, the less they can sell you out for. I mean... Oh, you would it seemed not like the only thing uncle. he was interested in was the wolves. Well, Bro only got him. brother, I think, I think he, I understand, but I think I didn't, I didn't sense anything from him, anything bad. Well, I guess I trust your instincts better than mine. Should well, there we, is like, one thing I will say get... to you. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to say, shouldn't we get going before more wolves show up? Right, yes. Right? Because I... we're just, we're sitting ducks here. Oh, and let me know when you get hungry. I got something uh, something special to whip up. Uh, food would with, be amazing. I would like with food. any of this meat. Don't use this meat. No, not... <sighs> points to the rabbits and the berries and literally everything else we forged. Oh. Right. Sorry. As we're all walking back towards the road, Gaius grabs Kai by the shoulder and kind of, like, nudges him to fall back away from the group as we're still walking. Uh, hi. Oh, I'll, my I'll look over... You. Oh. I was just going to say, I'll look over my shoulder and, and lock eyes with Kai to see if he's okay with this. Kai will just give you a quick nod and then look down to Gaius. Okay, he'll keep walking then. Honest question. How am I to help you if you won't actually participate? Participate with what? Gaius holds the axe out in one hand and, like, makes a swing motion. <sighs> I mean, are you expecting me to pick it up in like a day? Look, I no. I don't know how to do what you and Milo and Otho do. I don't know how to, you know, swing stuff or hit stuff. I You think I do? I try to pull people out of danger, and then I get yelled at because I'm supposed to go into the danger. And then uh, I try to run away from the zombies, and we have to fight the zombies. And I guess what I'm trying to say is I don't know what I'm doing, okay? I, bo I bonk him on the forehead with two fingers. Ow! You think what? I do? I mean, clearly you jumped no, through a tree and- No, I don't. I have no idea what I'm doing. Why do you think I'm trying to gain a title? To make something of myself. But you... I am by the seat of my wool. Really quick, how loud are you being? I mean, we're not, not exactly trying to be quiet. Okay. Uh, not not that loud. I mean, if someone wants to eavesdrop, he's not going to be pissed about yeah, it. Yeah, I got no problem with it if somebody wants to chime in. Okay. Oh, Otho, Otho is very much listening in. Yeah, we're listening. We're walking, but we're listening. Just because I throw my weight around doesn't mean I know how to actually use the abilities given to me. I'm acting purely on instinct. <laughs> well, you got some real good instincts. Part of that, I suppose so. But the point is, if we can't, if if you want me to help you know what I am capable of, how am I to bounce off that information if I don't see you actually participate? Do you not have a weapon, something clearly to swing at? Not your body. Uh. You'll see him kind of move his poncho out of the way, and for the first time, you'll see a dagger on his hip. That's a start. You... I don't... I'm not one to understand magic. That was more my sister's thing. But I will ask this. You seemed like you had something about you that you were trying to pull on Iskan. Are you a I'm wizard? Just... No, I just... I saw Milo do it, and I thought... You know, worth the shot, right? I mean, he can just make stuff poof out of the sky and make toast. No. No, I can't, Kai. That's not how it works. 
Well, you, I mean, you put your hand up, and then the, the, the ray of light comes down, and then... The ray oof, of light. Oof. The ray of light comes from my father. Maybe Oren. I don't know. I'm, but it's not simply me. That's not it's, how magic works. Yes. It can't be. Yes, it is. For me, it is. For, for everyone else, maybe it's different. But for me, my power comes from my father and the one my father serves. Look, oh. if, if you made a deal with somebody to get magical powers and you're ashamed of it, I'm not trying to judge anybody. I, I, I can't even with you. And he just storms off. He's what really he angry. Really angry. He literally explained what? it. Well, there you go. I can't do anything I, right. No. And I can explain to you that my grandmother and my sister both share the same kind of magic. Something to do with circles, I believe, but that's about as much as my brain knows about it. And as far as I know, I only can punch things and make them hit the ground. I enjoy, sp I enjoy the sport of fighting, and I kill only when necessary. How much more information do you need out of me? Uh, Eskin is going <clears> to <throat> take the momentary break to sort of look towards Otho and nod in the direction that Milo stormed off. And he's going to head out to uh, make sure that Milo's not too far ahead and off by himself. He just sort of gives a affirmatory nod, uh, but he'll he'll stay where he is. Uh, which which conversation to, should we latch onto first? Then, oh, you guys keep going. I'm you just making going. sure that yeah. I wanted to make sure that he didn't get too far away by himself, just in case. Mm -hmm. That's fair. Sorry, Bert what did you say just before that, Tito? Milo away. <laughs> <laughs> just like stay don't get to stay go there. Standing position like a freaking cardboard cutout. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, what did you guys, say guys, just before that guy? Or Zito? Guys, pretty much just told you, like, how much more information do you need? Because obviously I need to tell you a lot to get you to trust. I, I, I mean, I, I just, I don't know. I mean, we, we worked well together and I, I, I want to learn. I just. Don't know what I'm doing. That's I, look. If I could just pick it up, like snap my fingers and make it happen, I would. But I mean, you tell me what I have to do. If I have to like do like a hundred push-ups or like try to like stab a tree a hundred times or jump a lot, like you you tell me. I I don't know. Swing at me. So, uh, okay, I'm gonna swing at him. All right, go ahead. And roll he grab no. Side. I grab I grab his wrist. And I put his hand to the knife. With that? But I'm going to hurt you. That guy just uh, cracks his neck. That's to be seen. Great. All right, here we go. Does an 18 hit you? No, it does <laughs> not. <laughs> Gaius holds up his arm. And there is a uh, there is a fucking uh, wrist bracer that is around him uh, that is around his wrist. So he has a shield and he catches it. I believe it okay. or not. You caught me off guard. You have some aptitude to you, but you just need to get over the fact that you don't you keep telling yourself you don't know what to do. And just do things. Look, Otho's always been the fighter and the talky one. I just, I do books, I guess. Maybe, I don't know. It's just, I. <sighs> and that's fine. But there's going to be a situation, especially out here in the open, that he's not going to be able to help you in time. Nor any of us. So you have to help yourself. Yeah, I guess I'll just start singing a song and everything will be great. Meanwhile, you can scan in Milo. He's just stomping off. 
those not, little feet. Not in a condescending way, but Iskin does eventually catch up with you and kind of slow down and just sort of walks next to you for a while, letting you cool down. What time of day is it, Monty? Uh, at this point, it's probably like starting to hit sunset a little bit. It's like probably 4 or 5 p.m. He's just, without conversation, going to start putting together uh, a campfire so he can start cooking. Uh, I will start helping set up camp, and after a little bit of time has passed, uh, he'll eventually kind of break the silence a bit. You know, there's something to be said about youth and inexperience, right? There's also something to say about being nice, thinking about others. If we're honest, none of us really know that much about each other outside of just, you know, being around. But those two, it just seems like they've had a really hard life, you know? He starts, like, cutting up some of the vegetables. I guess you could say that about everyone, then. Eh, some more than others. You know, I've had my troubles, but I don't know. I just get a feeling from both of them that I basically grew up in an ivory tower compared to their life. He just doesn't say that much. He just keeps cutting. He's he's relaxed. He, he's definitely relaxing more, though. Where he was originally tense, his shoulders are slumping a little bit, and he's more casual about prepping. Uh, Noticing that he's cooled off at least a little bit, he'll just continue helping set up camp uh, in silence, unless Milo wants to talk and or until the others catch up. He's gone. Oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> No, go ahead, go ahead. I'm gonna use the bathroom while you guys are doing this, by the way, because my bladder is gonna explode. Go oh, shot. I'm not you. I can't catch. <laughs> <laughs> Keep role playing. Fun. He's gone. Do any of you really trust me? Do you even like me? Yeah. I mean, frankly, I wouldn't be here if I didn't. Just hard to tell sometimes, I guess. Look, I told you when we left Runnel, you had my trust. Those weren't empty words. <sighs> I know. I know. It's just... Do you think there's a reason why we shouldn't? No, I just keep finding people from time to time who want to judge me immediately. Like that guy in Pud. He just, he, he almost spits at that as he looks down and froze his eyebrows a bit. What exactly happened up there? You keep mentioning it. Before I set off, um, my father told me that I needed to go out and, well, let's just say it set a good example. And I asked him why, what for, and he said something bad happened with uh, with the other Orden clerics. I don't, I didn't know much about it, but um, something bad, really bad, happened, and that's all I knew. Um, and so I, I, I want to do that. I want to do the right thing, help people, and make my make Da happy, you know? Um, he kind of looks away. I heard from Ortho that uh, a long time ago, before I was born, there was a uh, an eclipse. I don't know what that meant, but I'm sure that there's some connection. I don't know what, and, and I still don't know how bad it was, but it was bad enough that my father would tell me I need to go out and be an example to the world. I, uh, it must be big. 
Big if it shook Ortho uh, if it shook Ortho, I it must have been big. So I'm trying to do my best and it's hard, Iskan. It's hard when people just judge you and I didn't expect that. And I'm expecting maybe more will happen and I don't know what's gonna happen. He kinda I'm, you, you don't really notice it, but while you've been talking, he kind of closed the distance and he rests a hand on your shoulder. He acknowledges it. Honestly, people judging you never gets easier. Heck, I've had most of my life judged. Expectations put on me. Ow. Things that, you know, were... I was told I had to do... I guess maybe a little bit like you and your father, although yours wanted you to leave, explore, go out. Mine's probably pissed I'm not at home. That is something to say about being home. I, uh, I miss, I miss mum. I miss my hearth. When he says that, by the way, he's looking really hard into that fire. You know, not a lot at home for me was very good. Um, I mean, I had an easy enough life, but it was just empty pretty much all the time. But mm. my sister, I do miss her. No, well, maybe that's something we have in common then. I don't know. I feel like we have a lot of things in common, but they're also really different. You know, Iskan, um, actually, Monty, above game, would I know about some of the other gods? Uh, not a ton, no, I would say, honestly. Okay. You'd have very surface level knowledge, so I'm going to say no. Okay. Unfortunately. Um, I mean, you know about Ilene in the relationship with Orin, but only like you don't know the depth of the the worship there. You only really know the cousin thing. Would yeah, I know just... about what I know about Ginter? Um, yeah, you would know about Ginter. Ginter okay. would be another pre prevalent god, but you don't know the depth of it. You oh, just sure. Know, like, oh, a lot of all agriculture. And yeah, that's about it. Yeah, 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 and that's 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 all the point. Is you know, there are other gods too, and um, one of them, Ginter. Uh, he's the god of agriculture. I, uh, I know a lot of people back home that, uh, would hope that he smiles down on them. So I don't like to think that what I believe and what I do is isolated, but rather it's a part of a greater thing. Just like how all these woods and trees and they're all governed by something and that's okay because it all works together. Kind of like how we all work together that's why i say, say that oh sorry go ahead. i'm sorry i hate, <laughs> no, no, you're I hate fine, to you're break fine it now. up but you are fine as you as you say that and you kind of finish up preparing the meal and you both have your conversation uh what do you make okay can i help him can I yes i was actually gonna ask yeah. action make it make a chef's tools check uh with advantage because these can is helping yeehaw you. 22 okay what do you make with the rabbit and berries that you have um trying to make a, a what do you, let's do a roast rabbit with the berries kind of mashed as like a garnish kind of jelly on top you got it to give, yeah to give it a uh a, 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 a nice sharp meaty but also a bit of a savory flavor you got it uh as you guys you know part the rabbits you know split them amongst all of you it is a juicy dirty tender meat uh, the berries themselves give a sort of like tart kind of like it's like a blueberry nest to it, but it's very tart and very savory on top of the somewhat salted meat. It is very delicious and very filling. You do not have to write off a ration because you found food for the day. Yeah, but you oh, yeah. will have to write uh, off so water because you guys did drink water for the day. I will also, notably uh, Otho yeah. would have would have uh, sauntered up while you were cooking. Uh, and he would have actually pulled out a mess kit from his uh, pack and began to uh, set out plates and silverware for everybody. Aww. Yo, that makes him smile a lot. Yeah, um, 
Monty, really quick before the, the day ends, I want to refill everyone's water skins okay. uh, with the crate water. You got it. Bucket bucket of water. You got it. You guys all refill your water skins. <laughs> Sorry, it's important. I don't want us to go dehydrated. <laughs> you guys make camp for the night, do your watches, and the howling of the wolves does continue, but it is significantly lessened. Cool. Ooh. And as dawn approaches... I would like a weather Oh, God, where do we go? <laughs> where do we go? I'll, re I'll reveal. Give me a second. <laughs> Uh, I'll I'll roll it this time. Why the hell not? All right, give me a d twenty. <laughs> Twelve. Well, okay, nice day. Roll another twenty for me. <laughs> Seventeen. The wind is gentler, but there is still a wind. And last roll. Uh. Ten. Ten. No rain. It is a pleasant, Ooh. sunny day. Uh, really quick, Iskan and um, Gaius get two temp HP. Okay. Yay. Hey. Okay. Again, this tile, nothing occurs. It is just more forest. Cool. Uh, untended to road, and you guys move another square ahead, right off another ration, and I assume you refill the bucket. Mm -hmm. Woohoo! Yeah. Any opportunity yeah. for forging? Can we can we add the bucket to the party as just <laughs> new party limp? Oh god, face. we're getting Stanley Parable in here. <laughs> I, I, I I draw a face on the bucket. <laughs> okay, oh, you god. do. You draw it, a face it, on the it, bucket. It, it now it now looks like plank. Excellent. Yes. Yeah. Um, any chance for forging or not so much? Uh not so much on these quicker okay. days, unfortunately. That's fine. Uh. Could I could I hang back with uh, Kai for just a little, one brief Absolutely. second? Brother. Hmm? I couldn't help but overhear your conversation with Mr. Agni yesterday. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, um... Uh... You okay? No. I figure, you know, if I don't talk the whole day, maybe I won't screw up again. You are not Mission success? Up, brother. Kaisar, listen to me. Okay? Yeah. We both know full well I wouldn't be here if it weren't for you. You are not a failure and you are not a screw-up. How do I do what you do? How do I like, make want? people listen and, like, make them understand? Like, you just do it. I know it might not seem easy to you, but it is a skill, one that can be refined, and it might not seem like you are capable of such a thing right now, but that's just because you haven't had time to sharpen that skill. The only way to get better, to improve, is by doing. Yeah, but now Milo hates me, and I don't really have a lot of people left to try that with. Like, I don't need everybody to hate me by the end of this. Mr. Brightbeam does not hate you. He's just... He sort of, like, chews his lip for a bit. He's... Seems like... He seems like he's had some... Expectations about... The world, and they're not being met. And... I'm not necessarily sure that he takes that well. He does not hate you. I think you just don't... You need time to understand each other. We all do. At least we may have only known each other right? for... Like, it's still not okay to make him upset. Well, I think that's... Very noble of you to want to apologize, and I think that uh, is something... No, give him the choice of words, bro. Hmm? It's not noble of me. It's just the right thing to do. <laughs> of course, that's what I meant. But... All right, let's... I feel like everybody... Decided, you... Oh, sorry. 
If you want to learn how to do something that's within my power to do, I would be more than happy to teach you. Yeah, one of you teach me how to use this. And he'll show you the dagger again. I mean, you gave it to me and I barely use it. Very well. Everybody make a group perception check for me, please. Oh, boy. 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 <laughs> Wow. wow! Oh no! Oh, wow! Okay. Roll twenty is just picking a person every session. Wow! Oh, oh boy! You mean everyone right me. now? That's, that was my third natural one tonight. Yeah, you're beating me on that ones right yeah, now. Yeah, I know. Uh, we need one more from Kai, please. Man, I'm just gonna stick to Sacred Flame. I don't have to make an attack roll. <laughs> natural twenty. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Unfortunately, that is... Thank you, Mr. Bright Beam, for absorbing all the bad luck. That is <laughs> no five way. failures and two successes. So, unfortunately, the perception check pales as your day continues onwards. That's right, we don't need your perception check. Not even my passive. <sighs> all right, you guys rest for another... Nope, this is not... This is an active check, unfortunately. Yeah, no, I got you. Yeah, you're actively searching for things. So, as you guys continue for the night, again, write off another ration. Uh, as a point, um, I would like to attempt to uh, use one of the pelts to make vellum that evening. Okay. You Ugh. may attempt to check for that. Um, I Would you allow me Paper. to use cartographer's tools to do that? Uh, I would say leatherworking tools would be what would be necessary to, to pull the well, hair from this thing. Okay, I'm trying to make it into paper, essentially. Yeah, but you would need to um, use leather tools to work it. I don't have leather workers tools. I have a dagger. Um, <laughs> but that's I think what the point of the 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 freaking the racial thing. Oh, there it is. Racial traits. Cunning artisan. Yeah. Can you click the ability for me just so I can read it? Uh yeah. <clears throat> do 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 do. do. This is not the full description. Uh, I'll just copy paste it. I don't know how to do it from D and D Beyond. Right. Uh, uh, you harvest bone to hide from sleeping beasts. Uh, to create one of the following objects: a shield, a club, a javelin, or one D four blow darts or do to use this trait. So these so are not it objects. Apply no. for paper. Okay, no. that cannot cool. make paper out of that. Yeah, I will not so make paper then. Instead, Sorry. I would. I would. I okay. Uh, I guess you can have this note. Use the back of it. <laughs> Just writing on the on the inside of the flesh, all wet and gross. Uh, never mind that. Yeah, then. sorry. All good. I misunderstood. Yeah, it even states that you need appropriate artisan yeah. tools, such as leatherworking tools. So it's not a catch-all, unfortunately. I'm very yep. sorry. All good. All right, you guys, Fair. bed down for the night. Write off your ration. Uh, you use the bucket of sacred water and drink from it. <laughs> yes. were, were there any Were there any water sources around? No, again, okay. this is a very lush forest. His name is Frank, uh, we're at by the way. Three rations now, <laughs> everybody. I think. Yeah, we're at three yes. rations. We need to. Yep. Rations. We are at three. Uh, Gaijin, are you yeah. okay if we go a bit later today? Yeah. Okay. Is everybody I else call okay it, if we I, go a bit later? Yep. Yeah, yeah I'm fine. Yeah. I, I I won't be able to stick around after. I got to call at eight a.m. tomorrow, but I'm loving this. All right. Uh, speaking of loving it, can I, in between his like before he crashes, can I steal Milo for two seconds? Sure. I would off. ask again. I I would God. love to say yes to role play, but time is kind of of the essence. So, I'll make it quick. I promise. Okay. Uh, so when Milo's getting ready to to bed down, Kai will just tap him on the shoulder. Oh, oh, Kai, you scared me. Hi. Uh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, my bad. Uh, I just I wanted to apologize for a couple days ago. That was really dumb of me and. It's not okay, and so I, I've been trying to figure out the way to say it, so I figured I should just say it, and now I've said it, and yeah. He gives you a big old hug. Yeah. It's all right. It was not the reaction I was expecting. <sighs> Kai, it's all right. It, it, these things happen. Don't it's worry really about it. It's not okay. You look really upset. I was, but I'm not anymore. That's how this works. That's how it forgiveness is. works. Yes. He's smiling at you, by the way. Super big smile. Kai's got like that awkward half smile. Only half of his lip is up. That's fine. Uh, right. Anyway, I should probably get to bed. I just, I needed to 
do that. Um, You're fine. Thanks. Yeah. And he's going to go pass out. I'm frothing with rage, can't you tell? <laughs> <laughs> My wrath can never be satiated, can't you? <laughs> this is the angriest I've ever been. And on my birthday, too. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. You guys rest for the night, and as the morning comes, I would like... Who would like to roll three d20s for me? I'm doing it this time. All right. I believe in you, Mark. Here comes the weather, boy. Three nat ones. Let's go. How dare you? Wow, why would you do that? Natural ones are actually not a bad thing in this situation. 11, oh. 2, and 6. Jeez. 11, 2, and 6. Another beautiful, perfect day. Yeah. And as you guys follow the road, it does the actually bend <laughs> this southwards. This is just so much better than Easton Vale. <laughs> I know. Do we have to go back? <laughs> we can have a grand old time. <laughs> as you begin to feel the road curve off the road becomes slightly better and at a distance you can see and you were like wait how did we not notice this before but you can see a village Ooh. a small little hamlet to the south as you see the hamlet and as you walk by the sign of Acorn the village of Acorn guys we huh. made it Finally, civilization. Just Something time, immediately too. catches your attention, though. It's oh, crooked. Damn it! <laughs> you don't hear anything. Oh, great! Fine, don't do this to us. <laughs> don't do this to us. Just want one town that has people. Normal people. Uh, um, perception check. Town full of wolves. Are you walking into the town? Well, it's looking into the town from the sign. Sure. Go ahead and roll perception checks. And then I... Oh, 13. 24. 6. 16. Okay. Um, as you look, there's no smoke coming out of any of the houses. And you don't hear anything. You don't see anything. You don't see any movement at all. Uh, guys, something's wrong. Wrong how? There's no one's here. Well, maybe they're just inside? There's no sign of life. Are we sure that the zombies are only in Eastonvale? Uh, Could be a whole new set of problems. Maybe the wolves have taken over. Not great. Maybe. Maybe something knows what we're after. Let's do this quietly. That didn't really work out last time, but we can try. Well, I've Let's been trying. At least check. I guess okay. we'll approach quietly. Yep. As you guys kind of sneak your way forward. There are no people, but there are trees. There's a well in the center of the town similar to a rain, but there are trees growing next to it. Uh, what are the buildings made out of? Uh, the buildings are, uh, wood, but the roofs are, like, this very, very, like, tiled roof, uh, that are painted red. It's got a very auburn -y look to it in this village. Very cozy. Uh, I am going to start ritual casting Detect Magic. All right, okay. no. No, I didn't prep that. Never mind. I cannot do that. All right. <clears throat> What's the nearest, uh... Obvious establishment near us. Yeah, is there like an inn or something? Uh, as you walk in, immediately to your right uh, appears to be a shop, like a like a store, like a little storefront, kind of attached to a little tower. It appears to be some sort of uh, like <clears throat> spell shop, possibly. Um, immediately to your left seems to be like a logging domicile, and to the north you do see um, a kind of longer building that is clearly a tavern with kind of a hanging. <clears throat> sign at the moment. Why don't 
Can we check the tavern? I I feel that as well. Do uh, we we know we need to get the beat from a druid. Anybody know much about right, druids? Some, something about a staff, right? It was in a staff, right? Right. Like the beat in a was tomb? in a staff. In a tomb. Which we were supposed to find the mayor and let him know, and they would get us to the tomb, right? Am I is right? That the plan? Yes, you're correct, but. So let's check the inn and see if anyone there can point us to the mayor. And hopefully there's someone there. Money, are there is there wildlife? Uh, there are like birds, yeah. Okay. Fuck it, there I'm going to the inn. There's some chickens running away around that. Oh, kind of, no. For a moment. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Not all this shit too again. <laughs> Everyone's just like people who didn't even have swords have swords drawn. <laughs> One right, of the chickens knocked the an tavern? arrow. No. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm walking in. Yes. Yeah, As you yeah. trot up the steps, you kind of throw open the doors. And inside you see more trees. You see one at what? the bar counter, and you see one currently at a table that's slightly crooked. Are they rooted, or are they... They seem to go through the floorboards, yes. Uh... Monty. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would like to take some time looking around <laughs> the tavern... But specifically, I'm looking for any message left in Druidic. Okay. Uh, roll an investigation check. Natural 20. Wow. 22. Oh. Wow. Mark with the there, high rolls. Who there are is, you? There is no Druidic, but as you kind of look around the building, you also notice there's roots growing through the floorboards above, kind of dangling down into oh the main floor. God. And as you kind of look at one of these trees, you notice that one of the branches reaching off that splits into like, you know, like it's it's like a a branch that splits into like twigs looks like a hand. And as you look, you see that the knot of the tree almost swirls like a face. Yep, that's what I thought. Oh. Mm. Does this look to be like some sort of curse or spell or do they look like tree people? You don't know, but it's not right, whatever it is. Uh, I don't think we're going to find the mayor. Unless any one of you can tell these trees apart. What's wrong with them? I think they're the townsfolk. Okay. Wait, I'm, I'm sorry, what? Now I will ritual cast detect poison and disease. <laughs> you detect no poison and no disease. Oh boy, it's natural. <laughs> well, um, they're not. Sorry, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. You said there was somebody behind the counter. Uh, there is a tree behind the counter, like where a barkeeper would right. be. Yeah. <laughs> so somebody behind the counter. <laughs> uh, I'm. I'm gonna vault over the bar. Uh, is there like a? office area in here for like managerial purposes or something uh you push open a door and there's a kitchen uh but you don't see like an office on the main floor no as you guys kind of scout through it seems to be like the kitchen area and then like the dining in the bar area no place for um, a ledger and, book no and there's a set of steps that go up as well okay are there are there sh are there chefs that are uh Making their making their leaf stew over something. Uh, no, the kitchen is empty. <laughs> leaf but stew. it has food in it, so the food is still AKA there. AKA <laughs> 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 tea. Fuck. I'm sorry. Uh, the last thing you said. <laughs> she said there's food. food. There's still food oh. in the kitchen. It hasn't spoiled, so. Well, whatever happened here, it was recent. None of the food in here is spoiled. Uh, Mani. Mm hmm I'd like to go outside and see if, like, the trees connect to anything, like, from above. Uh, the one on the second floor? Yeah, like, I want to see, like, right. if there are trees sprouting out of each building. 
Uh, as you go up the steps, you open up one of the, what appears to be one of the inn rooms, and you see that there's a tree currently upright on top of a bed, and the roots are kind of around the bed frame and kind of burst through the floorboard, seeming to find purchase. And as you look out the window, you see those two trees next to the well as well. One of them, actually, you can see from this angle, actually has a bucket on its branch. <gasps> Another one. <laughs> I can only carry so much. <laughs> you know, I can, you know, I was I, thinking if all the if all the food is spoiled, does that mean that we've gone from the undead no, to the none unbread? of the food is spoiled? None of it's none spoiled. of the food is spoiled. No, your pun was bad because it wasn't topical. It's 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 there, it's going to come back to life and haunt us. <laughs> okay, uh, I'd like to rifle through the rooms to see if there's any like paperwork or anything that indicates time, location, or people of importance. Okay. I'll say you and Otho possibly trying to find a ledger. Yeah, that's what I was doing as well. Okay. Uh, the two of you kind of try and turn the place around, but you do find in one of the bedrooms, which is probably the owner's bedroom, you do find a ledger. Um, it lists a variety of names um, with dates that probably date that a few months ago, but there are uh, two recent names. Mm hmm uh one is uh osiris and the other one is worm tongue what the fudge is that worm is in like a flying worm or worm is in a crawling worm no it's a crawling, crawling worm. worm crawling worm mm. so we're not gonna get sued uh the worm tongue is before the osiris Hmm. Okay. Does that name mean anything to you? Uh, <laughs> probably not, right? Ah, uh, no. Good, I'm not the only one. The scorn's on me, Mr. Agni. Hmm. Now, I don't mean to be that guy, but with a name like this, it feels a little, it, like, waves his fingers in front of his face. Magical. I say we check the shop. You may have a point, Mr. Agni. Shall we gather the others then? Aye. And uh just leap just jump from the second floor down. Yeah, <laughs> right why next walk? To, you, yeah, like you right next so to much well, more I can, speed if you jump. I can do this. <laughs> <laughs> just jump down from the second floor right next to Milo. <laughs> I was going to go investigate oh. the well. Go for it. Okay. What are you looking for in particular? I'm looking to see if there is any sort of, because I've, I've still got my detection up kind of sonaring around. I'm looking for food or water that I could assume to possibly be tainted. Mm -hmm. Now, detect poison and disease doesn't work like that. So you can detect, a you know, a disease on a person or if someone's poisoned or if an object is poisoned but it doesn't detect anything like a paladin can detect or a ranger can detect well i mean it you says you can detect poisons poisonous, poisonous creatures, creatures and diseases within 30 feet of mm -hmm. you yeah yeah uh, you detect no minutes. poison and you detect no disease. Okay, that's what I was double checking. Yeah. And no poisonous creatures? <laughs> no. <laughs> the trees no. are poisonous. Stupid I mean, oak. Right. Watch out. Just, watch just that a that singular chicken, tree though. frog. A singular Milo. tree frog is just yeah. like right there. Frog somewhere. Yeah. 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 That one chicken, though. That one chicken's kind of. Money. <laughs> no. Never trust the fucking chickens. <laughs> Side eyes in a Looney Tunes fashion. I immediately start getting indigestion. I, I wake up level three and fucking uh and uh bandit bringer the chicken. Bring <laughs> it. Yeah, as you uh, check the well, at the bottom of it is fresh clean water. I guess I'll get some so we can refill our water skins. That's so weird. Just looks at all the trees, starts to feel even smaller. They're not large trees. They're actually quite small. They're probably oh. about five feet to six feet tall. That's still <laughs> twice his height, though. That's still yeah, yeah pretty tall. <laughs> but it's not like a massive tree. So. Right. Mm -hmm. I'd like to investigate the tree. Look for any sort of weird qualities. Okay. Glad we'll investigation check. Raw roll, double thirteens. 
Uh, similar to what Eastcan was able to discern, you do see the branches look as if they're hands. Um, and you do notice a kind of like fading face. You swear you can see a face. And on one of the figures, there's like moss in kind of a specific area that suggests like facial hair, but only slightly. <laughs> well, very confused, but wanting to be of some weird assistance, I'm going to take some of the water that I've got left over and pour it on their roots. Okay. <laughs> you just drowned the tree. Drink it through was, your feet, buddy. It was actually a pseudo wudo. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll that's just what make they sure. mean when you say drink your legs. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just, I'll just procure, I'll just procure the water that we need to survive, and that'll be me. Okay. Don't want him to try out. You guys Ooh. meet up together. Yeah, I so <laughs> You Go guys regroup in the middle of town. Yeah. Uh, well, you... Anyone have any ideas? We have mm, a name. A couple of names, actually. Osiris and Wormtongue were the most recent names in the ledger in the uh, tavern. What did the date say? A couple of months ago, I think. Uh, right? No, incorrect. <laughs> incorrect. Sorry. You just said those were the most recent. Uh, probably probably about a month ago, actually, to be specific. A, a month. month. Okay. Uh, I would say uh, Worm Tongue was a month ago, and then uh, Osiris was like four or five hmm. days ago. Oh. The most recent one was Osiris. I mean, I know we have to find the tomb, but I guess we just look around and try and find it on our own. But we've got no point of reference. Uh, it might be more obvious than you think. He cocks an eyebrow at that, a little surprised. Well, it's a druid's tomb, right? Right? It's not a gravestone, it's a tomb. It's usually some sort of construction, like a mausoleum. But what direction? Well, we have to look around and find it. Hmm. All right. Maybe that magic shop has something that can help us there. Or something to explain all these trees, at the very least. Worth a shot. Nothing in the water. Go to the magic shop. Okay, I guess so. the magic to shop. The magic shop. It is locked. I think, given the circumstances, we probably should still try and get in there. <sighs> hey, Monty. Mm -hmm. It's going to be dumb. I'm going to knock on the door. All right, you knock on the door. Nothing happens. That's fine. You never know. Is there a window? There is, yeah. There's a front window. I mean, on the tower. Uh, the tower has like a little, like little, little baby window at the top, yeah, for someone to look out from the top. It's kind of got that little cone sort of motif at the top. Mister Brightbeam, you didn't sense any uh, magic around this place, did you? Oh, uh, normally I'd try, but um, I didn't prep that. There, there's nothing poisonous or disease e. Wait a second. <laughs> Sorry, I just had an idea. Hmm? Yes. So the staff, we're sure that it's a druid staff, right? The thing with the bead in it? Nods. That's what Lynn told us. Well, everything got turned hmm. to trees. We're looking for something druidic. What if this wasn't intentional? What if someone beat us here and this is the result? Hmm. It's beginning. I was beginning to think the same thing. I mean, we still can't confirm that until we find the tomb. Uh, I'm just saying we, that's probably what we should be looking for. That's kind of hmm. what I said. Yeah. Should we still check the shop? You hear guys all the way from the butt, right? You're like 60 feet away. 
So I shouldn't ram the door? I just, I don't know if it's wise to break into a magic shop if anything's likely to be booby-trapped. What? I'm 60 feet away! <laughs> he's got his head down, he's got his... I got my head down, yep, I'm ready to go! <laughs> Why don't you hold off for now, guys? Okay. Yeah, I don't think this is the... What he said. Much as I'd like to see it. It would be funny. <laughs> I mean, I can't argue with that. It would be funny. Then I uh, guess it's the original plan. We go around and see if we can find it. You hear a cat? I was going to say this. <laughs> that involves wandering aimlessly. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's why I'm a little... That's why I'm like, <laughs> I mean... Are we sure we just don't want to <laughs> crave violence and knock the door down? I'm... I'm, on, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of... Door. I'm kind of with Bosco, though, because if the magic place is trapped, none of us have a way of disarming a magical trap. Yeah, it's just going to blast us in the face. But hey, you know what? You only live once. Let's go for it. We may have a way to avoid uh, turning Mr. Agni into veal. <clears throat> What's uh, that? Otho will sigh heavily and he'll reach back to his pocket and pull out some thieves tools. Oh he's boy. The, he's going to do the thing. Uh, get guidance for your check, buddy boy. Oh boy. Oh. I will attempt to pick the lock on the door. Okay. Just give me half a second while you make this roll. I'll be right back. Which was going to be hysterical because I was actually going to have Gaius like jump, like as he's about to reach the door, I was going to have a mirthful leap up to the roof. <laughs> <laughs> Just to ex flip expectation. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Also, apologies if this clicks in chat. I'm still trying to freaking, I'm trying to close something down. Okay, good. Apologies if I explode. <laughs> no, you're fine. Please don't die. I don't need no. to add that onto I'm the back. I don't see thing. A roll. Oh, I was waiting until you got back. He was waiting no, for I, you. I was, I was waiting for your roll. So go ahead, go go ahead and roll it with guidance. Uh, what do I even roll? Uh, you your should roll your thieves tools, tools if they're tools. in your inventory. It, it's a one d twenty plus your whatever ability score is attached to it. Dexterity, and then if you're proficient, proficient you with thieves tools, uh, yes, I am. Then add your proficiency. So okay. dex plus uh, proficiency plus d twenty. Oh, here we go. Use tool. That, that I was gonna yeah, say. I was, yeah, I was. Yeah, it was on your thing. It's mm -hmm. it's, yeah. it's a little buried on D and D Beyond. Ooh. Sponsor us. Uh, that is 18 <laughs> plus. Roll it. Oh, Money. One, so 19. Oh, child's play. You easily unlock this door and you kind of open it up. Immediately what you see is that this is a very small store. It doesn't really look like much of a store as much as just like a kind of like consultation space. And as you open the door, you see on the other side of the counter is a thin lithe, wizened-looking tree uh, with a moss beard that runs down about two feet long behind the counter currently. I'll just wave to it and say, pardon the intrusion. Uh, as you walk inside, you see that there are there's like a glass case uh, near the counter that contains what appears to be a couple of scrolls. Um, and notably, on the right side of the wall is like a standing kind of like um, what do you call it? The front of like a church, the thing you put the book on. What's that called? A pulpit. Uh, a pulpit. Pulpit. Yeah, pulpit. yeah, yeah, a pulpit. <laughs> there is a pulpit with a glass case on top, and inside is a closed, uh, maroon leather bound spell book. There is a series of stairs that kind of curl up to the left, clearly leading to the tower. Uh, but in front of the wizened tree. Uh, that actually has like a hat on top of it, like on the tip of its branch, all the way at the top. There's like a wizard's hat. Uh, you notice there's stacks of books, um, all of which seem very, very dense and very hard to discern. But one of the books is currently open to a page that the branch. There's a branch from this tree on top of. I'm sorry. Kind of did you did you say book and opened? Yeah. <laughs> I would like to partake of this book that is this Don't open eat the book. quality. Okay, you slip the book out from underneath the tree branch and kind of look at it, and it appears to be a entry on the uh, spell applications of Barkskin, specifically. 
Whoa. Oh, Ooh, Kai, Kai is going to start reading. Everybody will see Kai's eyes light up. All right. You read about bark skin, a ancient druidic spell that thickens the skin of creatures, making them more resistant to damage. Uh, it requires a handful of oak bark, uh, and uh, some rangers can also use this spell. Huh. It's like a tree shield. That's pretty smart. Well, Kaya, what do you mean? Uh, this is a... It looks like a, a book of spell descriptions. Uh, this one's called Barkskin. Apparently the, the user, typically a druid, but apparently there are other people that have been known to master it. You can basically make a shield out of bark for your skin. Notably... Kai, as you're looking at this, there is an indication that the spell could be applied to other creatures that are willing, and there are some charcoal lines like quickly dashed underneath, and written next to it says, "But we weren't willing." Oh, oh, oh no! What? Um. So, uh, apparently, the spell can be applied to individuals that allow it, or it could be forced upon people. And according to this book, and he'll turn it around so you can all see that part of it, none of these people were willing. It basically trapped them inside of bark. Oh. Does the book have a way of undoing it? Uh, so let me look. Ahem! <laughs> As you flip the pages, there's more dense verbology about druidic magic, you know, these sites of interest, who founded Bark Skin, etc. And as you flip <laughs> to the final page, there's nothing. Okay. Um, so that's a no. That's a no. Let's see. Bark Skin, Bark Skin, five. Cure. Uh, cure. Kai? Cure. Yeah? Do you think that book over there on the pulpit might help? Uh, maybe. Hold on. Earth? Entangle? I'll get back to this. Uh, nothing about the bark skin. I can look. Which book? Uh, the one in the case on the pulpit. I'm gonna sure. I'll take a look. I'm gonna head up to the tower see if I can see anything from the window. Uh, I'm gonna open up the book that Milo pointed out. Okay, you uh, latch the case and lift it up, and there is this very probably one of the most beautiful books you've ever seen, Kai, currently on display here. Uh, I'm going to okay. open it. Okay. It is a spell book. Ooh. Okay. Uh, what kind of a spell book? Uh, it is a very, very nice beginner, like, handmade spell book. Uh, it currently contains six spells. I am going to look through it. <laughs> That's not what I needed. Sorry, one second. Uh, as you head up the stairs east can and make your way to the top, you can see the village, and that's kind of it. It's more meant to look out onto the village rather than <laughs> anywhere else. Right. So, um, but, so the, the tomb itself is not a part of the village, is what this would tell me? Uh, I, you don't see anything, no. Okay. okay. You don't even see a graveyard, so. I would head back down then. Uh, as you look at the spell book... Uh, it contains uh, three first-level spells of mm -hmm. Alarm, Catapult, and Earth Tremor. I just felt Zito. Right? Just <laughs> uh, yeah, with Catapult, oh. yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> Earth Tremor. This was in the other book, too. Interesting. Uh, you also find tremor. that it has two uh, second-level spells, which is Blur and Arcane Lock. Mm. And the last third level spell uh, mm -hmm. appears to be. Sorry. Checking my notes here. Lightning bolt. Uh, life transference. Oh, oh fuck. Ooh. That's did sorry, you say what? life? Did, I'm sorry. Did you say life transference? Life transference, yeah. Oh, my goodness. That. <laughs> That's a Xanathar's. Um, 
And okay. so, so is so is Cataclysm. Just, to be, just to be clear, that is that's a necromancy school, correct? That is a necromancy spell, yeah. Yep. To be fair, um, but it's, Otho, are you watching? Are you watching him go through the books? Uh, uh, yeah. I'm sort of just I'm standing in the middle will, of the room. I am just passively investigating things that look like you will. You will notice will, when he gets to say, necromancy. Oh, god. I, I would say that life transference falls under the similar to revivify and other healing spells. It's not. It doesn't fall into like fucking with the dead it's actually like a health based thing essentially so it is necromancy but it's not evil necromancy i'm using quotation marks essentially you will uh otho you will watch his eyes get even wider when he notices a necromancy spell hi what's wrong this is this is necromancy i've i've seen spells like this before this is what we were dealing with in Easendale. Like, it has to be. Easendale. Uh, hmm. Easendale. Oh, yeah, that. Whatever. Whatever. Easendale, Easendale, Icewind Dale, whatever. I know. Careful. Careful. I'll, Who is it? I'll uh, walk over to... Uh, I'll walk over to Kai and just look over his shoulder. If I could... Huh. Maybe there's a way to turn their own tricks against them. Hmm. I imagine I've come back down the stairs now. Yeah, you have at this point. Upstairs, there's a bed. Um, like a little closet with clothes and clearly a space to make tea and just stare out the window and people watch. Hmm. Nothing anyway, really visible I can figure from this the out window. later. Nothing I could see as a tomb, anyway. Anybody want to invest behind the counter where the tree is? Sure. Yes. yes. Sure. Are there more I'll books? I'll say Milo and Gaius, since you two are kind of. Go get the books. It can Go I? Ahead and roll a... Yep. Can I guidance myself? Yep. Absolutely. Okay. Go ahead and make investigation checks. Mm -hmm. uh, oh. Okay. Wow. 12. Wow, we uh, cannot roll tonight. Is this magic? Gaius found the Gaius floor. like, is this magic? Is this magic? Maybe this <laughs> no, is no, I was actually going to have Gaius look for a blank book. All right. As you kind of dig through, uh, you do not find a blank book. You do find like 10 sheets of really nice paper, uh, specifically paper. Um, and Milo, you kind of are moving things around. You hear kind of the clinking of glasses and you kind of open over the shelf and you see a milk crate almost filled with eight healing potions i will take those out all right there are eight healing potions available since this is a store stock um a little angel and devil version of milo I appear on his shoulder oh there's no <laughs> question i don't i don't mean to be the bearer of bad news but uh like point over at th at the tree think he would notice he she they i understand this might be a bit of a moral dilemma but um everybody here is a tree i don't <laughs> think this can help them and if we're going to help them we need to have resources so i understand oh, if there are no morals I... to be had here then i'm gladly on board with this i don't i also say this there are more houses here as well Mm hmm. We might need them more than the people here, but if by some miracle we can reverse all this, I think we should be prepared to give them back. Absolutely. I'll uh, I'll I'll try to do some research when we have some more time to sit down. I'll see what I can find in these books. I mean, uh, unless you know something these... we don't, we've got the time right now. Might as well, well take the night. Should we find the tomb? Where did we start looking? Mm. Like I said, nothing really stands out from the view up top. You well, said there was other houses, house, correct? There are other houses, yeah. There's domiciles. Oh, domiciles. I was I was thinking more yeah. like an actual like building, other building. Yeah, there's uh, other buildings. Yeah, there's like. Well, there's... I, mean, I mean, like an establishment. There was there was uh, nothing that immediately looked like any sort of graveyard or tomb or anything like that. No, not here. No, you so, don't see anything. 
Could I go to the top of the tower and look out and try to see if there's a particularly official looking building among these? Sure, go ahead and roll a perception check. Something that looks like a mayor's house. Let me let me check my background to see if I have an ability for this. Um, come on. Uh, <sighs> oh, uh, maybe. Um, court functionality. My knowledge of how bureaucracies function lets me access records and inner workings of any noble court government you encounter. You know who the movers and shakers are. Uh, whom to go for for favors and what the current intrigues or interests of any groups are. So would I would I be able to use that to spot a building that looks you may you official? may attempt to. It won't give you any advantage, but it might help. Turn. But go ahead and roll a perception uh, check. Perception. <laughs> oh come on come on oh, oh, oh okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wow. Sorry. Sorry. You almost play it. You yeah, almost boy. Drop roll 20. Sorry. On you know what the fucking roller coaster. On D&D Beyond, that was a roller coaster. Oh, <laughs> uh, though, as you kind of scan, you do notice there's a house that has a placard above the door. Uh, it appears to be kind of like a shield shaped placard with a griffin motif carved out of oak wood. Uh, and kind of crossed behind the griffin are two um, replica, looks like replica halberds kind of crossing over, uh, which definitely stands out. Gentlemen, I believe I might have found our mayor. Gotcha. Uh, Kai, you said that was a book of spells? Uh, yeah, both. This is uh, more druidic magic. This one seems more arcane. Um, why? Could you use it at all? I, I mean, I'm, I'm going to read through it. All right. It's no stealing if you intend to bring it back, so, you know. Oh, I'm not bringing it back. <laughs> right. And he just... Stealing. So, right, so... Back down now. <laughs> just, just a flash <laughs> cut back to, like, the outsider. We're criminals. 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 Come back. <laughs> I imagine, no, I imagine Milo does that puppet like look forward then immediately look back at a snap cut <laughs> yeah. oh uh, sorry i i will return it once i have uh thoroughly investigated it all right kai i, I trust a word let's go see the miner's house yes guys make your way outside totally closing worked. the door behind you <laughs> guys is just like dancing like, like 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 kind of just like doing the like little fucking like bop dance we're, 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 we're looting we're looting we're looting we're looting <laughs> you guys make your way a hop and a skip over to what appears to be a house of some official nature as you get a closer look at the placard i would say Escan and gaius roll a history check Oh Yahoo! Boy. I also roll a history. God check. fucking oh, damn it! I'm useless. <laughs> can I give? I like how it's like, hey, please, hey, hey. Can the guys who are awful at history can they roll a history check for me? Anyone trained in history can also roll a history. I have check, expertise in history, so I, right, I was going to say, let me roll. Right roll. What we do? There it is. Fifteen. Thank you. Let's go. Okay. One T three. That was a six right. for me, by the way. Uh. Otho, you're the only one who gets this, unfortunately. I'm very sorry, Kai. Of course. Um, it's fine. You, I'm guys used to you guys aren't from here, technically. Uh, but Otho, as you kind of walk up, you're like, oh, that's the symbol of the royal family of Hearthland, actually. Oh, shit. Would I know who that is? Uh, well, you know that it's the, the royal family. Uh, it's the oh, sigil of the royal I, family. You just said I wouldn't know who it is because I'm not from here. <laughs> Well, yeah, you right. recognize that that's I'm like, oh, that's that's a royal symbol. Like this is this is clearly an official royal symbol, but what that's it means, I have no idea. Yeah. Go to open the door. All right, you and the door's actually open, surprisingly. And you, you see as you enter inside, there's like a kitchen space, uh, very well kept. Uh, and you notice breaking through the floorboards above is another set of roots. God damn it. Why is everything cursed here? Everything is <laughs> right. You think if I touch them, it would tickle the person inside the tree? Hold, hold, hold on a second. This is a really, really stupid idea, but do you have that letter from Lynn? Uh, I do, yes. 
why don't we try giving it to one of the trees? Uh, <laughs> all right. Um, First, I, we should see if we can figure <clears throat> out which one's the mayor. Oh, look for one with a, a, a really fancy hat. <laughs> Good logic. I love fancy. it. Fancy it's Milo like logic. Leave him alone. Let's, let's, uh, let's, find the, let's find the fanciest hat. All right, you find a, a, a like a coat rack that has a fancy hat on it, um, but you kind of scour through. This is a very regular kind of fancier house, um, and as you guys make your way up to the space and find the source of all the roots, you do see you do open up the door to an office, and currently there are leaves all over the ground. Um, and you notice currently situated behind a rather large oak desk is a, another large tree. And you can see that like clasped in its tree kind of branch is what appears to be some sort of like, it's like two pieces of paper rolled up and kind of put in place as if being held. We'll just, we'll just take that. Thank you. All right. I would like for you to check the under documents, the mayor's note. Oh, you all my tree. Mm. All right, I'm going to show it to you guys. Uh, please you read this it. out loud. Who's reading it? Wait, who's reading it? Whoever would like to. Uh, if you are about... reading this, it's too I... late for me. Three weeks ago, a strange traveler came to Acorn asking to see Mira's tomb. They were a gaunt fellow, tall, with a wiry black hair. Fearing their wrath, I gave them brief instructions to the tomb. They came and went within a week and left without another word. Soon after, the people of Acorn began to change. At first, we felt elated in the sun. Then our skin began to harden. Then our joints stiffened. And now, with this note I leave to you, I am unable to move. But leaves are growing from my skin where hair should. I fear that this strange visitor desecrated the tomb, and now the ancient spirit of the druid Mira has unleashed her wrath against us. Be you thieves, I ask you leave us leave with haste. If you are wolf hunters, beware your quarries. I fear this curse is compounded upon the man eaters. If you are heroes, I beg of you seek out Mira's tomb and set things right. I've scribbled a map. With what lasting movement I have, I beg of you, please help us. Mayor Oaknut. Well, they said if you're heroes, so I guess at least Gaius qualifies, right? You what? <laughs> just like turns and looks at you with like big bright eyes like, what? He's just going to give you a wink. Well, certainly none of us are thieves, and I flick the saber out of its sheath. <laughs> Hi, I sweats. mean, not intentionally. <laughs> So I guess my hunch was right. Somebody did beat us here. Eh, someone with ill intentions. Figures the one time I'm right, it's not good. Iskin very quietly but deftly slides the note out of your hand. Oh. And <clears throat> before you can blink, he has a <laughs> bunch of his maps open and he's trying to like match it with the route that we've already traveled so he can line it up with the road that we took to get here. I think, yeah, this is actually sort of back towards the way we came, but to the northeast instead of west. I want to check How the mayor's desk to see if there's any like documentation as to like what could be found in Mira's tomb. Uh, you dig around, you find just like general paper, like official documentation, uh, mostly pertaining to the buying and selling of wood, specifically oak wood in the region, but you don't find any historical records about the tomb at all. So, Eastkin, can we just go a little bit north and east of here? Is that what you're saying? That's what it looks like. These, I guess, standing rocks are some kind of monument or marker? I mean, that'll at least tell us if we're going in the right direction, and then if this piece of paper's right, it means we just keep heading straight. Monty, by overlaying it with the path that we've already taken, can I estimate about how long it would take us to get to the tomb? Uh, roll 
a survival check with advantage because of your intrigue and maps. Natural 20 for a Let's total go. of Let's go! Oh my god, Mark! <laughs> okay. Slow down. I don't mess yeah, around with maps. <laughs> Allow me to reveal more space then. Let's oh, go! shit. Yeah, boy! I am the map. <laughs> that is approaching. Oh, well, look at that. That might be the standing rocks right there. Oh. There yep. You go. The standing rocks are the mound. Okay. And that tower piece is where the tomb you estimate is. Oh. Okay. What's wrong? I, I, well, I really do suggest we stay the night at least. It looks like it might be about two days out. Holy shit, the house has moved. <laughs> Just come Wait, down. Can... Oh, holy it. shit. Oh, my <laughs> Hold on, are you telling me you can extrapolate the exact amount of time it's going to take us just by overlaying the two pieces of paper? I mean, it's an estimate, not exact. Yeah, that's still impressive. <laughs> Thanks. I like to think I'm good at my job. You're really good at your job. Uh, yeah, anyway, uh... Yeah, we really should stay the night. I don't think we want to try going out there... In the dark with those wolves. Just I like agree. how, just like how Kai is taking the book, I say we take the food. I mean, I mean, yeah, I'm cool with that. It'll all just go to waste. Um, real quick, money. Did we see any temples on the way in? No, there are no temples here. Okay. I mean, I could cook something up, and we could take it for the road. It is at this point kind of later in the evening. I mean, at best, we just, you know, resupply for a little bit. We can make it up to them when we fix this. Honestly, the town is probably the safest place to rest. Just because we know that there's pretty much nothing here right now. And there's closed doors. Yeah, I that's agree. Cool. It's a lot more defensible from a strategic position. Plus, I am... Uneased by knowing that there is a someone behind all this. We'll figure it out. In the meantime, I, I think I'll try and cook us something up for here and the road. Okay. Yeah. You guys, might as well. So you guys, there's an inn, so there's plenty of rooms for you guys to sleep in. Right. Yeah. Cool. I figure the inn is the best place to go. Um, Good meal, ham. There's actual beer. There's all kinds of you know vegetables and fruits. You have you know king's bounty here. Um, bounty. could I make rations of sorts? Um, you can. I would can, say probably can he not. Jerk? Can he jerk some of the meat? Uh, that I takes time. Probably not. That takes that, a lot. That, of time. that, was, that, that takes like half a day. You can call upon the sun. Oh my God! Shut up, Mark. Monty, is there bread? There Sky. is. Yes, there I are will. Of bread. I am taking bread. Screw you got it. it. Woo! Sun toast. I am adding bread to inventory. Guys, isn't toast, stealing okay. all the alcohol. No. Is there good <laughs> alcohol here? Oh, uh, there is. There's some nice wine, actually. Oh, finally. Um, Monty, how much does bread? Uh, Kai, Kai's gonna go join you at the wine. Uh, point two pounds. I will no, take it does it it like count it as a ration. Count a, a loaf of bread as a single ration, I would say. Whatever that would weigh. A loaf of bread is a single ration? Yeah. Damn. Oh, damn, I'm son. Smaller <laughs> I, hell of a piece of bread. bread. No, no, so so I'm at this. It's is that wonder bread. It's got a lot packed into it. <laughs> this is essentially my my uh spell components so you guys can have your temp HP. No, I gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're doing the treats. There's yeah, there's some very nice wine otho. I mean, nice for such a out of the way Hamlet, really. Oh, all that great food. Milo pulls out some pop tarts. <laughs> I was I, I was thinking my like nuts, berry, like like things that we might be able to take just to survive off for like two. Or, yeah, we're very low on into, rations. <laughs> yeah, stuff yeah. that goes into a pop tart. I would say yep. you could probably get some fresh food for two days. So I'd say two rations for everybody. Cool. That's what we need. A perishable okay. food. It's two more than I had before. Exactly. Oh, yeah. It's two more than three. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. you guys, it is indeed two more than three. You guys keep a watch for the night after your, your robust meal. Um, the only thing I've noted is that a pack of wolves does walk through the town, but doesn't find notice eh. of you. The following morning, I need everybody to make wisdom saving throws for me, please. Oh, oh sorry. boy. What? Are we becoming, are we becoming trees? We're becoming trees. Yeah, we become natural 20. Okay. 16. <clears throat> It. Oh. No. Oh. 12. Oh. Okay. You wonder who rolled below a 14. When you well, awake shit. the next morning, you feel stiff. But you feel okay. But the moment you feel the sun, you feel just invigorated and just real good. Like you feel really nice. Mm. And oh no. Uh, you both gain two temporary hit points. Hey, that's pretty as, good. As the presence of the sun makes you quite pleased and quite happy. Kai's going to start hyperventilating. <laughs> Every curse starts out as a boon. <laughs> uh, and I would like both Otho and Kai to note off that they are afflicted with the curse of Mira, please. Ugh. Great. Uh, is there a custody? Here? <laughs> Just note it down on your sheet that you have the first phase of All right. the Curse of Mira. And as you, you awaken to this revelation and realize that now there's a timer on you, that is where we're going to end the session for tonight. Oh, boy. Ooh. By Hi, the way, Austin. I can't believe you, it. Because you all entered a corn, you are now cursed. All of us? Good. Wait, all yep. of us? Yep, so all of you. Every oh, night, God. you have Damn to make it. a check. Oh, so <laughs> it's not a thing where if you pass it, you're done. Nope, you have to pass it every single time. And it was because we entered the town, period. You know Fuck that failed right. perception check? Damn it! Mm. All right, bye, Austin. Uh, bye, bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. Can't believe the one perception check I failed was the most important. It was a merchant who uh, passed through Acorn and he got hit and yeah, he got turned into a tree. <sighs> you didn't see him. Damn. Because he looked like a tree. Yep. By God. I'm not saying all trees look alike, but. <sighs> <sighs> but you've determined exactly where to go with that godlike survival check so hooray yes, i know Whoa. maps what can i say <laughs> now let's get there before we tree so do we we know that we're gonna have to ah never mind huh it's tree cool. god and we have to wait a week ah yep. <laughs> and yeah and i'm tree <laughs> Tree fall. See, I told you all the sun's really good, right? <laughs> Milo was in on it all right, along. Mr. Brightbeam, this is fantastic. Wait a minute. Uh -oh. Milo, <laughs> Mira, they're basically the same name. All right, <laughs> don't you don't you Kimba versus Lion King me, you uh, his fool. name is Simba. <laughs> also, speaking of speaking of lions, did you like my uh, fucking uh, prop I I made today? Hell yeah. <laughs> You made a prop. Fuck yeah. It's a fucking cardboard tube. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> Very cool. I oh sadly do not Good have session, any props. You guys. Thanks, thanks for letting this one go a little later. We went an hour over, but I'm like, you know, I, I, I want them to see Acorn. I think they need to kind of know what the fuck is up. I think they first. need to be cursed and may not come back. <laughs> I, I, feel like, I feel like there's not enough death yet. And... You know what, though? The, the extra time was in roleplay, and it was really good roleplay tonight. It so. was, yeah. It was fantastic mm. roleplay. Sorry for kind of nudging there a no, little bit, but I was also like, you know. Got stuff to do. It's fine. Yeah. But... Next session, you guys know your destination, and we should probably book it. <laughs> Oof! Oof! Indeed, I can't believe it. <laughs> like, you know what? You're cursed. You get a saving throw. You're now just a tree. <laughs> well, that's going to be a problem going forward. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. And we don't oh, know. I think I'm a tree. I know oh. how you feel. 
All right, well, before we stay any later, let's go around the horn mm. and uh, de introduce ourselves. Uh, Gaijin oh. Goomba, where can they find you? Twitch.tv slash Gaijin Goomba every Tuesday, Saturday, Sunday, 7 p.m. US Central. I play a lot of high fantasy Japan games because it has everything to do with my personal interest and work. Check me out on YouTube where I talk about culture and gaming and anime, but probably less anime because why wow, was that a ticking time bomb these days? Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I I just love talking about culture and stuff and uh, come listen, swing by. Yes. Listen, Gaijin, ranking yes. of kings exists. There's hope. Uh, try do a video on it, Monty, and then come back and see me. Okay, never mind. <laughs> you forgot about the part where in episode 14, he bent down and shut, picked up shut, a shut, leaf. No, no, see, indicative. Mark, Mark. You misconstrue what I mean. I'm talking about the people who own the rights to all oh, these things. Oh, that too. Yeah. 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 Okay, that's me. I'm in between things right now, but I am working on a lot of stuff. All right. Mark, where can they find you and what are you up to? Uh, you can find me on Twitter.com at Mark Allen Jr. Here on Twitch at Aeon Pro Tech Gaming. And you can follow the adventures of my fat sleepy cat bunny on Instagram at chonk for life Check out Fruit of Evolution. I play the lead main hero in that show in the English dub, so check it out. Also, please, please check out Big Cat Bandits on Twitter. It's Big Cat Bandits. We even have a fancy little QR code that you can scan. It'll take you straight to the Kickstarter. We're looking for more help getting this show funded, so feel free to spread it around, share it with people, especially if they like fun, witty, uh, spy-slash-action-adventures with a bunch of cat people. Uh, other than that, I'll see you guys on Saturday uh, when I may or may not be uh, doing other stuff. I don't know yet. Got to figure that out. That's it. All righty. Uh, Zeta, where can they find you, and what are you up to? Wait, hold on. I got to do something real quick, and... Oh, no, I'm a true... Ah! Oh, well, I guess that's it then. Oh. Damn. Do you guys remember when we used to have five people in this party? I not really, no. It was a fleeting was it, moment, I suppose. Was it always four people in a tree? Three! Oh, let me try and see if I can tree. summon them back. <gasps> I am an end. <laughs> Where are we going, tree bed? We're going to twitch.com. TV slash Zito. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Where, I, where he pl plays indie games from time to time. And also he puts out homebrew. It's free. Go to the Patreon post on the link I just put in there. I, I, I gave everyone a taste of what's to come from uh, the Ever Inked Almanac, which is my Patreon. I make D&D &D homebrew stuff. Uh... I'm giving you free frog goblins. Free frog goblins, you don't need to pay a damn thing. You just download the PDF and maybe it can entice you to possibly throw $5 my way and get more stuff. Maybe it helps me live. Student the loans. good. You know, student loans. I think mm. Treebeard would like you because you release all your stuff digitally, so there's no paper. That is true. <laughs> That's all the conversations were. I had a horrible joke, but I'm not going to say it. <laughs> okay. Well, please, please, by all means. No, nah, I'm not going to say it. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Monty, where can they find you? What are you up to? You can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. Tomorrow should be possibly more Dungeon of the Mad Mage. Uh, last session was a hoot and hollering good time. Uh, I think we're going to be going to the next floor, actually. They're going to layer three. Shit. Um, oh, boy. Yeah, so that's... They, they want to peek around at some things on layer two, but they want to move on to layer three. Um, and then uh, on Sunday, I'm hoping, uh, fingers crossed, beating Pokemon Legendaries, at the very least catching a bunch more Pokemon. I had to catch Spiritomb. And then all the legendaries, and then maybe fight God. I don't know. Again, I haven't seen spoilers, and I don't <laughs> want to see spoilers. But um, yeah, I have some more, uh, more, more of that game to do. And then eventually, I'm hoping to pick up Majora's Mask because that's been on the docket for a while, and I finally have a streamable version on the Switch. And people are already yelling at me that it's subpar, and I'm like, I don't care. I can't get my N64 to be recorded, so I'm doing it on my Switch. So sorry. 
Hey. But um, I, I really need to pick up Majora's Mask because it's been on the radar for a very long time, and hopefully I can get that started. But yeah, and you can also follow me on Twitter. I post memes and talk about stuff. And and you can become tree. Yeah. Listen, I just need everyone to become maple trees. It's 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 just it's just a fantasy of mine. Oh you God, not she's gonna melt your us. money. No. I will not be your money, Monty. <laughs> mm, acorn maple syrup. Oh. Now I know why you wrote this part. No. <laughs> All right, Andrew Bosco, we're gonna find you. What are you up to? Oh fuck, uh, he's a tree. He's the a part tree. of Edward Moscow will be playing. <laughs> oh right, yeah. <laughs> he's Ch check him out he's... on Twitter at Ed Bosco VA and on Twitch. I need to go to bed. You can find me at Ed Bosco VA on both Instagram and Twitter, and right here on Twitch.tv slash Edward Bosco. Thank you. Yeah. I Kurt. And they can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube.com slash Distortion Double, where I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Check out my DMs Guild, where I uh, release 5th edition subclasses, including the College of Distortion bar that I just uh, released last week. Uh, and as always, thanks to our lovely sponsor for this evening's escapades, Die Hard Dice. Die Hard Dice! Uh, Die Hard Dice is your one-stop shop for dice and dice accessories. And if you use the code UNEXPECTABLE! Exclamation point. Uh, when you when you shop on dieharddice.com, you can save 10% on your order, and some of that money gets sent back to us. Yeah. We keep making shows like this one. Hell yeah, yeah, uh, actually. And we've also got to thank for that people like you, including the ball guy. Thank you for the 16 months. Crazy meta. Thank you for the 23 months of prime. Uh, what Legend. I missed, I just got here. Everything. Yeah. Time out. Gaijin, if you need to go to bed, you can. It's totally okay. fine. Okay. I love you guys. It was good a fun night. session. Have a good I, bye. Bye, I have an 8 a.m. call chat. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Get some toast. Yeah. All right. Good. Sorry. Uh, all right, you can continue. Yeah, you're all right. Uh, Jai Kaizen, thank you for the 26 months, and I'm feeling fine. No. Uh, I'm feeling like a tree. Uh, Divine Devil 13, thank you for the 24 months. Blamish, thank you for the five months. Glad to be here. Hurtful Jade, thank you for the 16 months of Prime Savage. Midnight Road White, thank you for these 26 months of Prime subage. The Real Noob 137, thank you for the four months. Now, happy to sub again. I have an internship coming up. Uh, damn, I love this crew. Fox yeah. Battalion, thank you for the three months of Prime. Loving Unexpectables 2 so far. Been lurking and watching the VODs since episode one of part one, and I am planning a third rewatch soon. Keep up the great content. Good lord, you watched the entire thing twice? That's Going on thrice? Damn. Dragon Karask, thank you for the 11 months. Love you too, Bosco. Uh, Omen the Gloomy Bunny, thank you for the 15 months of Prime Subage. Oh yeah, time for more Goat, Goat, and Company. Uh, 20 BMG, thank you for the 19 months. Fade in 32, thank you for the two months of Prime. Longtime follower ever since the Dog Zone. Love you guys. Keep up the amazing work. Glad to give any support that I can. Yeah, that's a long time ago. Skeletal, for think of the 26 months. Oh boy, 26 months. Hey, I know Rainswell. that guy. Yeah. Rainswell, thank you for the 14 months. So glad we finally got to meet Johnny Elden Ring. Mm. <laughs> I think you met the outsider finally. Yeah. I'm so excited. Also, I forgot to shout out Art by Zeus Draws. Zeus did the. Yeah, yeah. Zeus Draws. Let's go. Who actually has commissions over right now, I think. So. Hell yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Anthony12203, thank you for the 22 months. Kane Time, thank you for the five uh, subs gifted to the community. Uh, Kakram, thank you for the sub. Daniel Bonin, thank you for the 25 months. Raw Sodium, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, and the additional 100 bits, my usual DM is letting me use the College of Distortion on Sunday for a one-shot, and it was a great time. Uh, they let... Uh, they let him be one of Zito's demoted imps, which I've uh, had for a while, and I've been waiting forever to use. Awesome, dude. Let me know how no. it goes. Dusty Bone, thank you for the 500 bits. If Bosco is playing uh, a sidekick or a non-class, this would be a whole new level 
of trying to say that he's still a guest character. <laughs> Pseudonym McFake name, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, Gaius, training begins now! <laughs> Larry, it's Milo. <laughs> <laughs> Pseudonym McFake name, thank you for the 100 bits. I meant Kai, not Milo. Whoops. Yeah, you have to duck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Protoss 103, they give the five bits. Uh, <clears throat> they could do what Puffin Forest Group did with the bucket to get more water. I don't know who it is. I, I don't. I know who Puffin Forest. I is, can't but watch I Puffin yeah. Forest videos because he talks about pre-written modules, and I want to either play in them or, or you know, it's just like, damn it. He's been on the show before. Yes, yeah, he was fantastic. I oh, Bracky just, what it, Bracky just said what it was in the chat. Piss in the bucket. Oh, piss in the bucket and then purify it? And then purify it. Didn't Smells we do like that? A... I think we did that, you and me, Connor, in Lanny's game. No, I we had to make a potion to to help Asmo with his... Uh, right, with his... right. We needed so you polymorphed me into a female deer and I, 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 I pissed in a bottle. <laughs> I'm not That's happy great. about anything I'm hearing what? right now. Yeah, the, 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 can we uh, move on? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, continue. Uh, <laughs> Zen leader, thank you for the 200 bits. Time to meet this campaign's version of Pug. Pine. Hey, Connor? Yes. I had a question for you. Uh-huh. So you remember how Kai kicked the wolf in the dick? Yes. Uh, I believe the you specified did... that you kicked him in the nuts. Right. So does that mean the wolfman had nards? It wasn't a wolf man, it was just a wolf. Yes. You kicked him in the nards. Excellent. <laughs> Fucking Eggman guy gets me. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I see it, man, it's just like. <laughs> Someone drew that. I missed my wife. Sorry. Guys. Please. <laughs> uh. Vardix S, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Monty, you sent them to Kalima, a town from Golden Sun. Oh, damn. That's, wow, good pickup on that. Wow. Yeah. yeah. That is a good one. Yep, heavily inspired for sure. I love Golden I Sun. I didn't even think of... Wow. I don't know what that means. That's Play Golden Sun. Where, yeah, Golden Sun's good. I won't spoil it. It's, it's, yeah. Dos you know what that? I, I respect you. Yeah. Wow. Doss Butcher, thank you for the uh, prime sub. Zeon the Blue Dragon, thank you for the five bits. Last of the bits, and I got to say, uh, well done with the control. Uh, well done with the control. The whole town turned into trees, and all that free stuff is just lay laying right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ruby Magical Girl, thank you for the six months of prime. Oh, wow, six months, and the episodes here are way longer. Yeah, it's... More of an accident, but you it's know. more because people really want to play and like you know, just, you know, just give yeah. you guys more time. We'll yeah. probably yeah. We'll How, we'll start, we'll start an hour early. earlier. <laughs> However, I will I will actually state that uh, I might not be able to stick around for too much longer because I actually do have a doctor's appointment tomorrow. Okay, if oh. you yeah. want to go too, then, you, can, yeah. you can head off. You can jump off if you want to. Yeah, I got like a few minutes left, so yeah. Okay. Uh, there luckily aren't very many left, so. Uh, T Chaos, thank you for the 26 months. Am in the VODs, BRB. <laughs> Rudin the Gamer, thank you for the 100 bits. Stellar Coyote, thank you for the 100 bits. Was kind of hoping the Outlander would run into everything like the blind pirate from Muppet Treasure Island. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> no, he can actually, like, navigate very well. I guarantee you he has blind yeah. fighting. Uh, I'll kill you. <laughs> I mean, we were Carolina. all thinking it. Zenlita, thank you for the 200 bits. Episode title, Bucket List. That's a good one. We actually that do need an episode good. title. Uh, Monkey Feet, thank you for the 100 bits. Episode title, this, found, this town is full of trees. Seriously, man, don't enter it. <laughs> it's long, isn't it? Uh, gosh, tempting, but it's a little long and kind of spoils a lot of things. A Blackfoot Ferret, thank you for the uh, elite bits. Trees, they are us. <laughs> Fantastic Callum for the 50 bits. East Ken. All right. Downside, we may be transformed into trees forever. But on the plus side, more paper. <laughs> no. No. Wait, I figured it out. I can write on myself. <gasps> Crit Scratch, thank you for the 10 bits. Uh, the party is now wear trees. Damn it. Yo, let's go. Fuck's sake. A lot to keep track of. 
pseudonymic fake name thing for the 100 bits, uh, be it the dog zone or the tree zone, the barks will be had. <laughs> Oh, minus two. For the five, uh, for the fifty bits, whenever Otho races with somebody, it always ends in a tie. Here, mm. minus four. Pimples, thank you for the one hundred bits. Uh, make like a tree and leaf to bed. <laughs> oh, huh? Oh, huh? why don't you make like a banana and shit? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I just got a clarification for a rule. Zito will have to go over it after game. Of course, it was probably Mad me. And... <laughs> no, no, it's fine. I overlooked it, too. I didn't know, but someone clarified. Mad it. Joker. Uh, Mad Joker 75. Thank you for the 20,000 bits. Wow. Oh, uh, crap. Damn. Thank you. Love you guys. Can't wait for more. I finally finished the first campaign. Let's go, dude. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, Despoonman, thank you for the 100 bits. Episode title, uh, leave it to us. Hmm. Uh, Dip and Bipples, thank you for the 100 bits. Episode title, Bucket of Bark. Uh, Local Bird, thank you for the 16 bits. Uh, birthday Bits, I'm finally 21. Cheers. <gasps> hey, happy birthday. Happy birthday. You are now the drunk number. How do we know they're really local, though? Hmm. They could be also, a foreign bird. I just want to point out, and I don't know if anyone picked up on this, but, like, obviously this campaign takes place 20 years after the the first one. I'm 21 But you guys now. were also in a, in a coma for a year, which means mm -hmm. it was 21 years, which was completely Oh, accident. my God. That was, that was something we what meant to ask you, What you fucking mean it too, was an accident? Because it came up in the Q&A, like, did, ow! What did we actually? Are we actually a year older than we thought we were now? Oh yeah, that's oh. true. Because we were we were talking about like uh like because the, the thing where guys just like I missed my birthday. <laughs> yeah. So Another should we adjust old. all our ages up a year? <laughs> no, you guys didn't age. So. Another year wiser. I have multiple, uh, reasons, but okay. Berg Flax, thank you for the fifteen bits episode title. This is a bucket. Here, God. Here, there's more. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Monkey good. Feet, thank you for the 100 bits. My episode title for last week was Monty Dies at the End. <laughs> That's right. Ah. Volk551, thank you for the 10 bits. Uh, in real life, wolves are very big. Yeah. They are. Yeah. They're quite They're large. Very large. There's a reason people were afraid of them in the medieval times. Uh, and Mad Mad Monk Montague, thank you for the 200 bits. Monty's ravenous desire for maple syrup has finally manifested in game. May God help us all. <laughs> <laughs> all righty. Uh, yep. Uh, I have a raid target. Target acquired. I have two uh, possible Arc ones. Oh, Arcolf. Arcolf is currently streaming Scarlet Nexus for 24 people. And Target we like Arcolf. Arcolf also helped with some of the random encounters, actually, that was were made for Easton. He so. He's the reason why we're trees. Yeah. <laughs> I knew it. Yeah. Should, we, uh, what should be the raid message? Yeah, what should the raid message be? Oh, Bucket. <laughs> oh, Bucket. Oh, no, but, but, but Buck and It is two words. Oh, bucket. All right. Take care, everybody. See you next oh. week. Oh, Have bucket. a good fly. Goodbye. See you next week. Can we Don't say goodbye? Don't leave bucket? me hanging. Oh. Fucking.